down and been shut down. Oh, that's why I can't get to the fucking Twitch. Apparently that's, that's okay. it. Okay. Apparently that's it. I'm making uh, burritos by the John here. So burritos I saw some, yeah, uh, some yeah, fried uh, yeah. onions, some yeah, fried well, peppers, some rice, and some cheese. I can't cheese. see shit. I can't see a damn thing. It's all blurry. Oh, you can't see fuck. shit? It's all blurry as fuck, dude. All I see is blurry. Of course, it uh, still yeah, looks good, even blurry, I guess, but uh, <laughs> but it's all blurry, man, you know. But it's a, uh, oh, you're, it's a soft taco, huh? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I burrito. like soft tacos. Yeah, well, burrito, taco, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I like I like him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the same shit, right? Burrito, taco, same pretty much, Yeah, pretty much the same thing. <laughs> yeah, pretty much the same thing. Um, yeah, yeah, I am. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. Apparently, uh, while I was at Walmart, I uh, come back and uh, and apparently, um, what had happened was, uh, unbeknownst to me, the trolls had hacked my account and put all kinds of nasty, uh, sexual and racist uh, shit in my in my about section of my uh, profile on Twitch. But can't they see that? Can't they look in the in the logs and see the fucking nasty trolls manipulated and shit? Well, that's the thing. Once I once I appeal it, which I did, and having to go look and check when that shit was put in there, they'll see that it was put in there by a damned YouTube troll, and that somebody obviously had hacked my account. Okay. Good. We need you, Vaughn. At least I at least I hope I hope the Twitch people are competent. <laughs> if they aren't, well, then I don't deserve to be there in the first damn place, right? If yeah, they turn out to be scumbags like YouTube then. Well, it's it's not it's not the idea of them being scumbags. If they're too incompetent to understand that there's no way in hell I'm gonna put derogatory shit in my about section, then I don't deserve to be on that fucking uh uh yeah. social platform anyway. Because they're too, are obviously too fucking stupid to realize that hey, you know, this guy has been around for years. He's not going to put racist and sexist shit all over his fucking about section. So, you know, but they, but yeah, according to the, uh, according to Twitch, uh, apparently, you want this? There, I mean, it's. Apparently, uh, some, some cock sucker got in there and manipulated. Yeah, you. got in there and fucked everything. Well, that's all right. That's that's okay. That's all right. People like that. Um, oh, um, uh, what's his cock sucker troll's name? Someone was someone was messaging me. Yeah, saying we're coming for you, John. We're coming for you, Vaughn. Um, Revolver Bernie was his name, I think. <clears throat> some mm -hmm. faceless troll. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know who you know who that is. He's just some troll. He said, "We're gonna come for you, John. You're gonna, we're gonna get your channel shut down." I like to mm -hmm. see that. I like mm -hmm. to see that. You're not gonna shut me down, boy, bad boy. Matter of fact, I spent all night last night sending out some good Christmas presents to a lot of these cocksuckers. So, yeah. That's the thing, it is, so thing of it is, so the people that's ban doing the banning, they don't even have a YouTube channel. They they might they might be subscribed to YouTube, but they don't actually have a channel. They don't post any videos. <sighs> They just hang out. They just hang out on there. You know, it's like Mr. United for the Children. Mr. United for the Children is probably one of the most vulgar trolls out there. But he doesn't do videos and he doesn't have a channel. He just exists. He's just he's just he's just on YouTube. That's it. And it's, it's a little bit harder to get his ass, but hopefully uh, somebody can get him and get well, him thrown in prison where he belongs. Someone. You can report someone for their nasty comments. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You can. If YouTube actually gives a shit, which they do not. Of course, I guess we could lie and say they're all evil Trump supporters. That'd get them banned instantaneously. <laughs> I'd get them banned instantly, man. <laughs> Just oh, yeah. say they're all evil Trump supporters, and then boom, they're gone. <laughs> Just that quick. What was it? I think it was like, what was it? Like 5,000 of us all got, got banned in mass. I mean, it was, that was, was much amazing, more than that, Mom. It was was it morning, man? It might have oh, been. Yeah. It might have been. Yeah, it might have been. I don't know, but it was a shit ton of us. I know. That was crazy, wasn't it? That's some crazy shit, wasn't it? That's messed up. That's some messed up shit. But um, yeah, yeah, indeed, indeed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow I'll go see the kitties. 
Oh, fun. And I have then I have to explain to them once again why they're not able to come home, which I'm getting very tired of doing, by the way. Getting very tired of having to do that. And my eldest is like, I'm coming home, I'm coming home. And I and I'm like, Well, I hope. <laughs> I hope you are. You know. I hope you are. Yeah, yeah. It's, <clears throat> when you have the kids, when you have even the kids begging and screaming to go home, that's when you know something's going on. You, well, of course. Why? Why, why isn't anybody want to listen? Why is the judge not listening? Does it? Why good question, listening? isn't it? That's a damn good question, isn't it? That really is. Mm-hmm. That's a damn good question. Why is the judge refusing to let these kids come home? Well, I guess we'll find out, won't we? One day. Yeah. It's all going to get exposed. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I already know this. I already know it is. And, um, you know, it's just too bad, so sad for them, man. Because um, they're, they're, the ones, they're the ones that's breaking the law, not me. I'm not breaking the law. So, so Mom, what's a good topic? Uh, uh, well, dude, I got rid of all my gateway pundits and Western journals because <laughs> I didn't think I'd need them. I got rid of them all. Shit. Oh, wait a minute. I still got a Western journal and a gateway pundit up here. All right. Let's see what we got. Um, okay. Supreme Court looks set to deal Biden a big loss. Well, oh, that sounds well, that sounds interesting, doesn't it? Yeah, that don't have really interesting. Yeah, let's see what let's see what we got here. Uh huh. Let's see what we got here. All right. Uh, you're gonna have to approve it. There we go. All right. Okay. Damn it! Get off. Huh. Of don't want all that shit. There we go. All right. Supreme Court's appeals uh, appear set to clamp down on Biden's rules. Uh, the Supreme Court could be leaning towards cutting back on the Environmental Protection Agency's power uh, to make climate control decisions, which could greatly damage President Joe Biden's climate plans. Uh, the court heard oral arguments on Monday in the West Virginia versus Environmental Protection Agency case in which West Virginia argued for restricting the EPA's authority under the Clean Air Act, the BBC reported. Uh, the Clean Air Act, which was passed in 1970, is a federal law that allows the EPA to establish national ambient air quality standards to protect public health and public welfare and to regulate emissions of hazardous air pollutants, the EPA mm -hmm. summarized. Uh, President Biden announced plans in the summer of 2021 for the U.S. to cut its global warming emissions by at least half by the end of the decade, the New York Times reported. Okay, let me stop there for a minute, folks. Remember that pie chart that I showed you from NASA? There is only 0.03% carbon dioxide in our atmosphere. If it gets lower than that, forests will die. Not maybe, not kind of. Forests will die these people don't know what the fuck they're doing and they're going to cause millions and millions of trees to die and when the forest dies guess who's next assholes yeah that would be us well it'd be the plant uh, the animals that he plants and then us but anyway um you know everything everything is going to die man okay yeah. everything's going to die okay uh these idiots don't know what they're doing they're going to get us all killed they're going to get us all killed. Like I said, I showed you that NASA chart, 0.03% carbon dioxide. That's all we got. That's all we got in our atmosphere. If it goes lower than that, trees will die by the millions. Yeah. Not maybe, not kind of. They will die, guaranteed, because trees must have carbon dioxide. Trees, trees take in the carbon dioxide. They give off the oxygen. We take in the oxygen and give them the carbon dioxide back. It's a symbiotic relationship. Anything that upsets that apple cart, like assholes saying that we got to cut our emissions, quote unquote. Yeah, well, that's idiocy. That's idiocy. It's going to destroy our, our plant life. And, you know, yeah. everybody says, well, why is there always all these fires going on? Why is there so many fires? There's not enough carbon dioxide and the trees are not moist enough to help resist fire. 
See, a tree that's totally healthy has a lot of moisture in it. And that moisture helps to, to fight against forest fires and shit like that. Okay, these trees have been suffering from a lack of carbon dioxide for years now because of these damn environmental hacks. And because these people that, don't actually care about the environment, Vaughn. You're talking like these people actually care about the planet, Vaughn. Well, I well, Vaughn, yes, you're talking I, like you act like these people are actually going to listen to you. And they're going to stop well, their, they, their yeah, well, they're not, yeah, I know. Well, I know I'm talking to I know I'm talking about <laughs> fucking brick wall, really. But I mean, but 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 the point is, the point is, it, it's very important to understand. These people are going to going to have the 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 forest to to die. Okay, the forests are going to die. Like I said, I showed you that NASA chart. 0.03 percent is all the carbon dioxide we got. If they do what they claim they want to do, which is cut emissions in half, emissions in this case, meaning carbon dioxide. If they cut carbon dioxide in half, that will be that will be 0.015 percent. That's insane. And 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 plants will die by the millions all across this globe if we do what they say they want to do, which is cut emissions by half. Okay. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. They don't. They really don't. Right. You know. Um, it's sad we have people who are so inept in charge of our, you know, government. It's 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 why I advocate. I know that people don't like me saying this. But these alphabet agencies, they got to start going. They got they to gotta go bye bye. Down. Yeah, yeah, yeah they they're out of control. They are completely out of control. They've got to, they've got to go bye bye. We got to get back to basics. And uh, but yeah, this this is this is just crazy, guys. Um, we can't we can't afford to lose any more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. We can't afford it. Plants will die. Not maybe not kind of. They will die. Okay, uh, this means that Biden could give the EPA power under the Clean Air Act to issue broad regulations in order to cut emissions. But an appeal from 19 states, led by coal-producing West Virginia and joined by other large coal companies, challenged the EPA's powers, the BBC reported. This appeal came ahead of any actual plan for the EPA for regulations on power plants, but the Supreme Court took on the appeal despite this. The arguments in the case particularly focused on how to interpret the Clean Air Act, which would then directly impact the boundaries of the EPA and what regulations it would be able to put on the power industry. While some warned that this case could be a waterloo for the administrative state, most, most of the oral argument focused narrowly on how to interpret the relevant provisions of the Clean Air Act. Jonathan Adler, a law professor at Case Western Reserve University, wrote in a commentary for Reason, I'm assuming that's Reason magazine, uh, some are predicting that since the court has a six to three conservative majority on the bench, the court could rule in favor of a president that would cut executive power to regulate on major questions absent explicit oh, yeah. uh, congressional blessing, Axios uh, reported. Uh, due to other rulings from the court uh, that favored more conservative interpretations, Harvard Law Professor Richard Lazarus told Axios in an email that the court might rule to sharply cut back on EPA's authority to reduce greenhouse gas emissions from existing coal-fired power plants. So while Biden's climate plan is not specifically being challenged in this case, if the, the president's climate goals could be unattainable. Quote, this could handcuff the federal government's ability to afford, uh, affordably reduce greenhouse gases from power plants, unquote. Michael Oppenheimer a Princeton University professor of geosciences and international affairs told New York Times. Okay, stop. Here is a professional, uh, a professor, Michael Oppenheimer, a Princeton University professor of geosciences. Okay, that's geosciences. What is that about? That's about the earth, right? Okay. Yeah. And, the, and this clown, this clown does not know that we only have 0.03% carbon dioxide in our atmosphere. This clown, this geoscientist, supposedly, <laughs> does not know that our our carbon dioxide levels are low in this in this uh, on this earth. Makes you wonder, right? Makes you wonder, because uh, yeah, that's that's uh, that's insane. And like I said, if they go forward, that 0.03% will drop to 0.15%. And that will cause the forests to die. Not maybe, not kind of. They will die. They will die from lack of carbon dioxide. Okay. They have plants have to have carbon dioxide. There is no getting around that. 
You know, it's funny. If these, if these assholes in the G20, if they had come out and said, hey, we got to cut back on carbon monoxide, which really is a deadly gas, which really can kill you, which really is dangerous, man, I'd have been the first one to sign up for that shit. But they didn't say carbon monoxide, which really is a deadly gas. They said carbon dioxide, which plants have to have to breathe. Okay, so uh, the whole thing is the whole thing is stupid anyway. And besides, all they're doing they're doing it to tax you anyway. It's not it's not for any real legitimate concern for Gaia. They don't give a fuck. It's like John said earlier. They don't give a fuck about Gaia. They really don't. I love Gaia. I want to protect Gaia. These fuckers don't give a damn about Gaia. They could care less. And, and you know whether they believe in Gaia as a living being or not is is immaterial. They don't they don't care either way. If it, if it was just a hunk of rock, they still wouldn't care. They don't give a damn. Right? They just don't. All right. Anyways, uh, Adler reported that justice is mainly focused. They're questioning on the interpretation of the language of Section 111 of the Clean Air Act, which focuses on the authority to regulate greenhouse gas emissions from power plants. Though the Supreme Court already moved forward with the appeal and heard the oral arguments, the Biden administration's officials have argued that the case is not ready for any court action since the EPA has not yet even put regulations into place for limiting, for limiting carbon emissions from power plants, Axios reported. However, G Chief Justice Roberts commented during the arguments that the case is still just uh, justiciable. Okay, uh, I gather that the position would be it's because uh, just because there's no regulation doesn't mean we're happy. Uh, they would like regulation according to their particular perspective. They like good regulation, which they think they can have with ACE, and now they don't have it. Again, why isn't that a, just, a justiciable uh, harm, Robert said. But Robert Percival, a uh, law professor at University of Maryland, did tell Axios that while Roberts mentioned that is a just justiciable case, any ruling from the court would merely be an advisory opinion. Wow, really? I thought the Supreme Court was was uh, was more than just a damn opinion, but maybe not. I don't know. I I, I think there's quite a bit of bravado going on there, uh, saying that uh, saying that that's just an opinion. Wow, really? I don't know about that. Hmm. Wow. Um, what do you say about that shit? Damn. Opinions like assholes. Yeah. But I, I would think a Supreme Court ruling is more than just an opinion. Uh, call, uh, call me crazy, but I think a Supreme Court ruling is a lot more than just opinion. But, wow, uh, wow. that's that's uh, that's a lot of bravado coming from that law professor, but uh, whatever. Anyway, the point is, so, uh, you know, do we really have a conservative majority in uh, the Supreme Court? No, we do not. No, we do not. And uh, so that, that right here says is... says that uh, the Center for Countering Digital Hate describes Western Journal as being among 10 fringe publishers. Well, the Center for Digital Hate can go fuck themselves. Yeah, well... Who, digital who gives a shit? Who gives a well, shit where was that? Where, yeah, well, okay, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where was this fucking center of digital hate when I was being harassed for the last 20 fucking years? Where the fuck no. were they? They hiding under their goddamn desk? Yeah, fuck them. And the horse they rode in on. And the little <laughs> dog, too. Fuck yeah, fuck the fuck them all. Yeah. Fuck but them anyway, all. but yeah, I mean, seriously, a, a center for... Digital hate, huh? Where the fuck were these clowns when I was being harassed all these years? Yeah, hiding under their fucking desk or washing their tights, one or the other. Anyway, they sure as fuck weren't helping my happy ass. Now, were they? Okay, so they can all go fuck themselves. Uh, but anyways, yeah, man, uh, Supreme Court. Uh, you know, anybody anybody that laughingly thinks that the Supreme Court is majority conservative, uh, they're idiots because they're not. Okay, you got Kavanaugh, you got Roberts, you got uh, that chick, the new chick, uh, what's her name, uh, uh, Barrett? Uh, I think it was her name. None of these motherfuckers are conservatives. Every one of them kissed Planned Parenthood's ass here just recently. All of them. All of them. I reported on that shit. That came straight out of the fucking Politico, man. Kavanaugh and Roberts. Kavanaugh, soon as Kavanaugh, almost, almost as soon as Kavanaugh was sworn in, man, they made a beeline for Planned Parenthood to approve Planned Parenthood's ability to kill more babies here in the United States. 
They couldn't wait. They could not wait to get in there and 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 side with playing paranoid to kill more children. Okay, is that a conservative? Fuck no, it nope. isn't. Every conservative I know is pro life. In fact, that, that's, right. that's that's a tenant of being a conservative. Is that's that a fact, Jack? Exactly, that's a fact, Jack. Uh, conservatives are pro life. All right. So, are any of these clowns conservative? No. No, the only real conservative that we had on the Supreme Court was Justice Scalia, and they murdered his ass. So that should tell you something, boys and girls. The only true conservative on the Supreme Court was Justice Scalia, and they murdered and now, him. You know what? We can eat, we need someone like that back. You know, it's a shame. You know, we now there's talks about this. Uh, They'll just kill bimbo. him like they did Scalia. They'll just kill him like they did Scalia. It won't matter. Now there's you talks know. about this new bimbo that uh, Biden wants to put into office. Yeah, so apparently she uh, apparently she's no good. She was caught uh, giving aid and comfort to uh, some of Hillary Clinton's people that were trying to hide her servers or some shit like that. Not only that, but this is how they're all cockroaches, Vine. Mm. This is how they're all scum. Mm -hmm. She, her, fa her brother or someone, or her sister, or someone in her family married yeah. to Paul Ryan, the Republican. Really? You didn't know that? I was reading about this. Her family no, I didn't know that married part. into... I, I, knew, yeah. I knew that she was, I knew that she helped somebody help, help hide uh, Hillary Clinton's servers and shit. I know so they're that all part, they're know all that. fucking essential. They're it's all they're all fucking each other. They're all part of the same clique, dude. You heard they're all part of the same. Clique. It doesn't matter whether you're a Republican or conservative, whether you're you a liberal or a Democrat. You're all they're all in it together, Vaughn. You heard what that fifteen year old girl said, right? There was a wow. fifteen year old girl. She did a she did a study on all the presidents. They're all related to each other. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. They're all related to one another. I about you know even that floor, you know as a historian, I never thought to look at their bloodlines, you know it never dawned on me, but this little girl for whatever reason she she got curious about their bloodlines, looked up their bloodlines. All the presidents are related to one another, yeah. literally, literally. Yes, like even what? Barack Hussein Obama. Now you say, well, how is Barack Hussein Obama related to him? Because his mommy was a white Democrat here in the states. Remember. Uh, so yeah, they're all interrelated, yeah. and uh, even even Barack Obama. Now Barack Obama was a CIA asset. However, uh, as I stated, his brother has outed him. He was born in Kenya. He was not born in the United States, but still, he was a CIA asset. And uh, through his mother, which was an American white girl, and uh, she was a leading Democrat behind the scenes, anyway. And uh, so that's how um, that's how they are. Uh, that's how they're all linked together. Now, there is one guy that isn't linked to them all. Can you guess who that guy is? <laughs> uh, Trump. And Trump's the only one. Trump Hell is the yeah. only one that's not related to all of them. Yeah, he's the only one. He's the only one that's not related. To why do you think they hate him? That's why they hate him. And that's why they that's why they pushed him out. Because they, they can't have him in. He's not, a, he's not their bloodline. So they pushed him out. How you been keeping, Vaughn? What is that golden pagan bull called again? The hell are they talking about? What is he talking about? Golden pagan bull. Oh, I think he's talking about some sort of Christian thing where they worshipped a golden calf or some shit like that. Oh, in the remember, Bible? Remember they? Yeah, in the Bible. Remember in the Bible where they was fucking where they fucking uh, left uh, Jehovah uh, and went and started worshiping a golden calf or some yeah, shit. Yeah, um, yeah. What is that? Yeah, that's, that's just called the golden calf. Yeah, it has nothing to do with me, man. Nothing to yeah, do with me. Yeah, that has nothing to do with pagan. That has nothing to do with me at all. That's yeah, uh right? in no. fact I don't I don't really think it was even Egyptian. The Egyptians I don't think had a cow deity. I don't not that I recall. They were Egyptians who did it, but I don't yeah, I don't know how the I don't think they had, I don't think they had a I don't I don't think even the a, Egyptians let me look that had up. a cow deity. Egyptian I'd have to look that up, yeah. Because I don't think Egyptian. even the Egyptians had a cow deity. I don't think cow god. I don't think they did. I think I think that's the Hindus that had the cow deity, right? I know the Hindus have an elephant deity, but I don't know about a cow deity. Oh, they do I have a cow they, deity. I, what? They do. They do. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. Mm, I didn't know, but they do. I didn't, I didn't know. know that. Mm, wow. Well. Okay, well, whatever. It still isn't learn, nothing to do with me. You learn something new every day, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, it, it has nothing to do with me, but, I mean, it's interesting. 
Hathor. Yeah, but Hathor is a female human, though, right? House of Horus. Uh... Ancient Egyptian religion played a various roles as a sky deity. Mother of the sky uh, god Horus, the sun god Ra. Yeah. Connecting the king to someone's. Someone's knocking at the door. Somebody's ringing the bell. Uh, let's see where to go up to. Okay. Hathor, the cow goddess, is among the most famous goddesses worshipped in the ancient Egypt era, also referred to as the Great One with many names. Hathor had many titles which made her important in every aspect of ancient Egyptian life. Okay, so she's not a cow. She's a female human, but she's over cows, I guess. She's, she's the goddess of cows. You know, like I would be the god of glass or some shit, right? Right. I'm not made of glass. I'm not made of glass, but I'm the god over the glass, right? You get it? Yeah. She's not a, she's not a, she, well, well, fuck me. I don't know. There's a cow. What the hell? I don't know. Ancient Egyptian cow goddess. Yeah, she's she's the goddess over the cows, I guess. I, fuck, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. That's a good one. I didn't know. I don't know. That's that's a good one. Yeah, I'm not sure either. I'm not sure either. But anyway, yeah. But anyway, that has nothing to do with me, man. I'm on a totally different path than that. I'm on a totally different path than that. Yep, totally different path than that shit. That's not me. Not me, man. It ain't me, babe. I said, no, no, no. It ain't what me, happened babe. to your Twitch channel? Well, we talked about it in the beginning of the of channel. Vaughn got it fucking taken down, but it's coming back up. Yeah. Um, a We're working of, on uh, it. Apparently, some YouTube trolls was able to get into my account and put all kinds of nasty hate into my about section. Uh, I guess I never got to see it personally, but I'm assuming it was sexual in nature and or racist one or both. Uh, either racist or sexual or both. Uh, but anyway, uh, the point is, is that there was a lot of nasty stuff in my about section. And um, so it will all be gone soon. And I'll, yeah. have my, I'll have my account back. I should get my account back pretty soon. Um, you know, once they, once they check and see that that shit was put in recently and that it wasn't put in by me. That the thing, the thing is, Vaughn, these people are in their last rows. They have to do everything they can to stop you and they can't. Well, they know this they know just them, short, this yeah. is just them lashing out at their last chance. Oh, of course, oh, of course, yeah, yeah. This they is like a last hurrah, is for the, yeah. for the trolls. Yeah, they know that they know their time is short, they know their time is short, and and uh, so yeah, I agree with that. That they're uh, they're just lashing out. I totally agree with that because uh, there is nothing else, they have nothing else, and uh, and that's you know, it's it's actually kind of a shame, really, uh, but oh well, you know. Uh, that's the way the old it ball is a kind of a shame, really. It is kind of a shame, but that's what you the know. Old what, ball what comes around goes around, and that's right. You know, these people are going to get what this coming. They mm -hmm. were told numerous times in advance, "Hey, you know, you need to chill the fuck out, man. Don't be, don't be doing that shit." And they didn't fucking listen, and so you know, oh well. Okay, four fifty. They they didn't listen, and they're going to pay the price. Our brother um, says Some clutching at straws. Yeah, I know, man. Clutching at straws. Yeah, it's it's all good. It's all good. Uh, the gods are in control, right? And they'll handle it. Everything Amen. will be fine. Everything will be fine. And um, everything is gotta, gonna be a okay. That's right. That's right. It's gonna be a okay, man. If you believe in God, or in Vaughn's case, gods, everything's gonna be okay. That's right. If you're a snot nosed little piece of garbage like these atheist trolls on the internet are, oof, you're going to have a rude awakening. You got a big awakening coming, I think. Yeah. yeah I'd say you do. Fucking awakening. I'd say you got a big awakening coming. Yeah. I do indeed. I do indeed, man. But, uh, you know, hey, um, you know they're they're gonna they're gonna wish they're gonna wish they'd listened. Uh, that's all I can say. They're gonna wish they'd listened, and um, it's gonna it's it's gonna impact them whether they believe it or not. It's gonna impact them, and uh, you know 
It just is, man. Impact them. It's going to impact them like a, like Tyrone bending them over in prison. It's going to impact them. <laughs> what do you, what do you oh, mean well, impact Maybe, maybe so. They're gonna maybe be so. ripped right open. They're gonna be ripped like a like a white boy in prison, man. <laughs> like a fresh white boy in prison. Man. Well, we'll see how things go on that front. Uh, hopefully, you know. hopefully it'll be a little bit better than that. But, but hey, you never, you know, uh, you never know, man. I mean, um, you got to be careful, man. You got to be careful because. Um, you know the gods don't play around, man. They they do not play around. You you mess with them, they'll, they'll mess. Is that Trina a good person? You know her? I do not know that person. I I want to believe. <laughs> it's like it's like that. It's like that poster. It's like X Files. From, yeah, it's the poster from the X Files. I want to believe. You know. <laughs> I want to believe. believe everyone's a good person. I want to believe. believe. I want to believe that they're good people and they're not trolls. But I mean, you know, we seem to draw. We seem to draw the worst in everybody for some damn reason. I don't know why. I don't know every, why. Oh, every one of these cocksuckers, you know? Every time, man. Every fucking time, you know. But, hey, you know, whatever. It's all good, man. Man, you know, everything. everything's going to come out in the wash eventually. Get him, Midnight. Hold Kill. Him and Get him. Get him, Get him, Midnight. Get him. Make him pay. <laughs> Make him pay, Midnight. Make him pay, by God. Give him a hell, dog. Give him a hell, doggy. <laughs> Every, yeah, I believe. I believe. Hey, every day is a good day when you paint. Yeah, there you go, Toby. <laughs> That's right, Toby. Toby's got it right today. Toby's got it right today, man. Uh, but yeah, yeah, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll see how things go, man. That's all you can Ooh, do. My sugar level's a little high. Oh shit! Hold on a minute. What happened, Vaughn? I think somebody might have run over another one of my dogs. Hang on a minute. Gox suckers, man. These you gotta. We gotta start. I gotta come down there and start breaking some fucking knees, man. That's why that fucking midnight's wants to rip them open, man. It was probably LF. It was probably LF. You know how he acts. Goddamn wild apes out there. Maybe it's just stubbed her toe or something. I don't know. I don't know. It's just... That is so sick, man. People are fucking vile. They're People fucking, are fucking vile, yeah. They are. They're fucking vile. Why do you say? Why do you think the gods send the destroyer every thirty-six thousand years to wipe our ass out, man? Why do you think? For a reason. It's done for a reason, man. Because we get, we get, we get out of fucking control, man. And the gods are like, yeah, fuck you. Uh, boom. <laughs> That's the end of that. Just that quick. Just that quick, man. Everybody, yeah, yeah, rock your body. Every, every once in a while, you need a good cleanse. Is that what you're saying? Every 36,000 years, uh, the gods send the destroyer. The destroyer weighs us in the balance. And if we're acting like a bunch of shits, uh, we go bye-bye. And it starts all over again. Seismic, uh, seismic, um, um, uh, uh, x rays seem to bear this out. I don't know if you all realize it or not, but you're okay. literally walking on top of civil, ain't like about 20 or 30 ancient civilizations, and you probably don't even realize it. I mean, they just they literally just stack one on top of the fucking other. It's it's amazing, and you're walking on that shit every day, and you don't even probably know it. And um, and it's it. What is it? It's from where uh, it's from where we we fucked up, man. You know, and the gods are like, yeah, see you, bye. And uh, that's the end of that shit. Uh, now there is one exception, though, and that exception is our particular timeline. Because in our timeline, it isn't our fault. 
Okay, we had 300 elite families that has basically controlled mankind damn near since the beginning. All right. So we got an out this time, believe it or not. We, we are going to get spared this time from the Death Angel or from the Great Destroyer, or, you know, however you wish to call it. We're going to be spared this time. Uh, if for no other reason than the fact that uh, they really, really want to destroy these elite families bad. I mean, they really want to kick their ass. So, yeah. Um, but, you know, but uh, aside from that, you know, that's pretty much it in a nutshell, dude. Um, they're going to they're gonna send the destroyer. The destroyer is going to wipe these fuckers out. And as a result, we're going to get us a year of Jubilee. We're going to all that money that they stole from us is all going to be returned. It's going to be great. All their fake ass money is going to be gone. Hopefully we, we can take the opportunity to establish a financial system based on prosperity instead of debt, which is what we should have done from the beginning, but we did not. And uh, so, yeah. Uh, we'll see how things go. Hopefully, it will be a, a, a blessing. I'm I'm looking forward to it. I supposedly will see this blessing come to fruition. So, so that's a good thing. So yeah, pain. Somebody pinging the shit out of me today. Apparently. Uh, but yeah. Good night. John, are you? Oh, let me see here. Uh, let me see here. Ding, there we go. Okay. Are you making fun of me? Make bing, 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 bing. That was bing, 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 bing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got some. I got something for somebody, and and um, they're wanting they're wanting me to do something, and I get I get to it here in a minute. I get to it. In. Can oh, I have yeah, all the gold good. in the Federal Reserve? Right? Yeah, I'd like to have all the gold in the Federal Reserve too, but it all has to be divvied back out. It's all got to be divvied back out. But it's going to be nice. It's going to be nice having all that money back in 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 circulation again. It's going to be great. Because prices are going to drop like a rock, man. Prices are going to drop, man. It's going to be awesome, dudes. I'm telling you. It's going to be great, man. It's going to be great, boys and girls. Go to the weasel. All right. Anyway. Rock your body. Everybody. Rock your body right. Back streets back. All right. All right. Paste into selection. Wah, 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 wah. Paste into selection. Paste into selection. And paste into selection. Right. During the American Star from World War I, there's some controversy as to whether or not it was legit. But uh, in my humble opinion, it was. Uh, but there is some that say that it may not have been. I disagree. I believe it was. Uh, copy. Uh, 
and uh, into selection to selection to selection to selection to selection isn't it interesting that America's aircraft have had pentagrams on them from almost the beginning <laughs> that's um I mean that's what it yeah, is. well the pentagrams aren't that bad of a symbol right people you just misuse them yeah it's 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 like anything else it gets you know used by some evil people and then and then the next thing you know oh well that symbol's evil no the symbol itself is not evil in fact, the pentagram is used to ward off demons and evil spirits. That's what it's used for. That's why I have one hanging around my neck. That's the whole point of having one around my neck is to ward off demons and evil spirits. And uh, I would see uh, ignorance. You know, a lot of people don't know. A lot of people do not know. And uh, that's unfortunate. But, you know, they don't. They just don't know. Sad, really. Rock your body, everybody. Rock your body, right? Rock your body. Back streets, back. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see here. Uh, a couple of cockroaches in the chat. I'm gonna have to squish. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Um, Tina turned out to be, uh, whatever her name, Trina, she turned out to be a cockroach. Oh, really? That's yeah, that's, that's disappointing, right? I don't know. It says, um, it says, uh, I had a team of lawyers for my disability also. And, uh, they aren't going to fight for any other issues you have. Well, that's the, the disability lawyers will not, okay, but I, I'm talking about a firm, okay, and within a firm, there are different lawyers that handle different things, okay. Um, some lawyers would be handling disability, some lawyers would handle wills and trusts, other lawyers would handle criminal activity, you know, it, when you have a firm, I mean, didn't anybody ever watch the movie The Firm? Okay, you, had a, you have a firm, you have lawyers all under one roof. And they, do, but they do different things. They don't all do the same thing. Okay. You know, I get it. Um, yeah, specialist lawyers. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Yeah, everything, everything. Have you noticed here lately, especially in, in, in the 2000s? How everything's become specialized and compartmentalized yeah. more so than normal. I, I've noticed it. Has anybody else noticed it? I've noticed it too. You know, yeah. you gotta have a specialist for this and a specialist for that, and you gotta have a, a certificate and you gotta have a you know a um oh, what's that um um not just a certificate, but there's another one that you gotta have and uh, Oh, I can't think of it right now. Anyway, the point is, is that yeah, man. It's um, the same thing you know, with the Hockton doctors. Like you got to go to a specialist doctor for your. You got to go to specialist cancer. doctors now, right? You got to exactly. go with this guy and that guy. It's like, what yeah. happened to just a regular doctor that just did doctors? Yeah, the, the, well, the, that's what I'm saying. Everything is specialized now. It's this is a ever since 2000. It seems like everything's went specialist now. Uh, everything. I mean, even your car mechanic, for fuck's sake, is now specialist. Okay, you got mm. one car mechanic, all they do is brakes. You got another one, all they do is motors. You got another one, all they do is air conditioning. And it's like, the fuck, man? <laughs> Everything's a specialist now. Special, special, specialist. Everything. Am I the only one that noticed? Am I the only one that noticed that shit? But yeah, it's true, man. Everything's become, is that a glue hair or hair hair? I don't know. Anyway, um, but yeah, everything's become specialized now, man. It's re it really is. Look at the oh, back. Drag is, drag not is here. Yeah, look at the back of your hands. Your hands are dirty. Yes, I've been outside today, folks. I've been outside today. It's been 72 degrees. And I've been outside today messing around in your the hands dirt. aren't that dirty, Vaughn. What are you what is he talking about? Well, they're not for messing around in dirt? No, they're not that dirty, really. No, they're not. No. And it's none it's nobody's business what I'm doing in the dirt. That's nothing nobody's business but my own. 
And besides, like I said, I'm one of those rare, rare individuals that I believe that Gaia is alive. Now, do I think she's alive as in a sentient being? Well, no, I haven't really gotten that far. But do I think that uh, she is alive as, say, maybe like a plant or something like that? Yeah, I think she's alive. I was just communing with nature, Toby. That's all I'm going to say about it, brother. I'm just communing with nature. Toby's a good guy. He's all right. Uh, Tina, Toby. Though, I don't know. Tina, you have no powers, Vaughn. Well, then you're an idiot. Because if you believe, if you do not believe that the supernatural and the spiritual exist, you are a moron. Okay? You just are. Because uh, we now have confirmation from the United States Army and the CIA that the supernatural realm does, in fact, exist. Sucks to be you. Okay, so get a get what get what the uh, get what the program, okay, because yeah, the U.S. Army and the CIA have confirmed that the supernatural and the spiritual do in fact exist. Sorry about your luck. Okay, sorry, atheist, you're not going to win any brownie points today. All right, because like I said, all this shit. Uh, they fucking found they found a uh, they found uh, the the um, they they they've proven actually, with scientific evidence, that there is a realm outside of space and time. Well, gee whiz, golly gee willikers, Batman. Could that be the realm where God exists? Yes. <laughs> so like I said, you're not going to win any brownie points today, atheist. Sorry. Sorry. Atheism is going to die on the vine. Yes, it is. Because science is now coming forward and justifying everything that we theists have been talking about. And I mean everything. So, I mean, isn't what, that the way it always works, Vaughn? These atheists open their mouth and science smacks them around? Well, here's the thing, okay? I have reached a conclusion with modern-day atheism. Now, granted, atheism in the past may have been a virulent hatred for God and that sort of thing, and, you know... Well, I it can, still is. I mean, the well, it still, yeah, it still is, but I mean... It, yeah, it's, it still is, but I mean, you know, now they try to justify this shit. But see, here's the problem. The problem you have is that really and truly all atheism is these days is just somebody that's too lazy to go to a library and pull down some books off the shelf and find a religion that suits them. I mean, there's, what, 500 fucking religions on this earth right now, and you can't find one that suits you? Yeah, you're a lazy son of a bitch. That's all you are. <laughs> Let's just admit it. You're a lazy son a of a lazy bitch. lazy cunt. You don't want to take the time to go to a library and do actual research and find something that suits you. So you just get on the internet and whine and piss about God all day long, you know, which does no, it, it serves no purpose. It serves no purpose. Like I said, we've got the CIA, we've got the U.S. Army, we've got various scientists, we've got all kinds of uh, tests now. We've test, we, we have a test now, and, I, and I've talked about this numerous times. They shot a proton, uh, I guess, I, I think it was a proton. They shot a proton through a glass tube, all right? And they shot it at, at, at uh, either the speed of light or faster than the speed of light. Okay, about halfway through the tube, it disappeared. It just flat out fucking disappeared. And so the scientists from that, from that experiment up to today, the scientists have been trying to figure out where the fuck that damn particle went to. Because it got to about halfway, it disappeared, and then it reappeared about three quarters of the way and went on down the tube. Okay, well, where the hell did it go in that center section of the tube? Well, they've been spending a lot of time finding out where it went. Well, where did it go? It went to that realm that is outside of space and time. And this has now been confirmed. Okay, like I said, you've got the CIA, you've got the United States Army, you've got all kinds of respectable entities now coming forward saying that, yes, we theorists were right all along about our thing. You know, we may not have got actually every little jot and tittle right, but we were in the ballpark. We got the vast majority of it correct. Okay, there is a spiritual realm. There is supernatural things. They do exist. And it would behoove one to become uh, uh, um knowledgeable about said things okay because to not be is at your own detriment okay you can walk around with your head in the sand and you know that's fine i guess but you know you open yourself up to attack uh to various things yeah quantum computers for example absolute proof of the multiverse yeah no question about it no question about it and uh and that's the thing you know people need to wake up man because you know now now is religion particularly organized religion, the best in the world? No, 
uh, organized religions had a lot of problems in the past, such as the burning of millions and millions of innocent pagans. Uh, that's something that the pagan community will never forget. Okay, it's called the burning times. Uh, but I mean, you know, but you know, and then then of course you have the atheists or the the Stalins of the world saying, "Oh, the religion's the opiate of the masses." But really and truly, um, spirituality would be about a relationship with your deity of choice, as opposed to any organized religion. And then that way you you totally avoid that whole aspect, right? You just concentrate on on getting personal with the deity of your choice and building that personal relationship between them, which is what I do. I do that all the time. And that's the important thing. That's that's the good part about it. Okay. You know, has has religion done a lot of good in the world? Yes. But have they done a lot of evil in the world? Yes. Okay. So Maybe the thing here, maybe the trick to the whole thing is just to develop your personal relationship with your deity of choice and not worry about all the other mumbo jumbo, hocus pocus, rules and regulations bullshit. That, that's probably the best way to handle it, really. Really and truly. Irvine, you serve no purpose. Yeah, get out of here, troll. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. Go away. Go away, little girl. Go away, little girl. <laughs> um, yeah, religion is a spiritual journey, not something you just read about in a book. Well, there you go. You know, it's about your walk, right? It's about the walk that you're doing. You know, you, you're you're taking a walk on on a journey, and you know that's you know that journey is leading you to a conclusion, and you know hopefully we all reach the same conclusion, which is to be in heaven, Valhalla, summer fields, whatever you wish to call it. You know, that's that's the, the ultimate plan, I reckon. Of course, now, see, my unique perspective is that we keep coming back until we get done whatever it is the gods want us to do. But then once that's done, then, yeah, man, we can chill out in summer fields and sit on a tree and relax and whatever. Oh, boy, another cockroach that needs to go. Ooh, they're coming out, and they're coming out today, Vaughn. Yeah, apparently they are, aren't they? That's Cockroaches, okay. when you turn on the light, they all scurry. <laughs> you know, you, you notice that when you put on the lights, the rush yeah. is just well, like like I like I said, you know, this this is all gonna. I guarantee you, this is all gonna disappear as soon as one of these fuckers stands in front of a judge. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, because nobody's gonna want to be next, right? Right. So as soon as one of these fuckers stands in front of the judge, it'll be all over. I assure you. I like when I like the fact that one of these cocksuckers early in the show said, "Well, the online hate was upset about the." Washington Post or something like yeah, if they were really upset. They would have done something about these little cocksuckers, little roaches that we have on our show. Exactly. Give me, give me their email. I'll send them a couple of yeah. Nasty give me their emails. email. I mean, you I'll, know, I'll, if, report if, I'll send them all the hate. If this if this entity exists, uh, this, this anti this anti hate group on on uh, on uh, you know from the government. If the government really does have an anti hate group, uh, give us a link. Or give us an email, give us something, and we'll contact them, and uh, we'll show them all kinds of hate. <laughs> I can show them all kinds of hate. I can show them pictures oh, yeah. of me in a fucking casket. If they want hate, you know, I can show them all kinds of fucking hate, buddy. Nasty shit. You know, let, let, them, let's, yeah. let's let us see who these people are. We'll we'll see. We'll have all kinds of we'll we'll have all kinds of stuff going. We have all this uh, hullabaloo they want, huh? Oh gosh. <laughs> Uh. Oh no! Trump praises brave Zelensky for standing against the Russian invasion. Oh boy! Oh boy! That's not going to age well. Uh. That's not going to age well, especially when we have Zelensky on on a hot mic saying that he wants his money back from the Bidens and the Obamas and the Clintons. <laughs> Oh, a little late for now when the bombs are dropping, Mr. Zelensky. You should have wanted yeah. money back from them before the bombs were dropping. You know, but uh, yeah, yeah, we got we got Zelensky on a hot mic saying he wants his money back from the Obamas, the Clintons, and the and the Bidens. Tough shit, Zelensky. Oh, we know he was he was bought and paid for that. Oh that God, it. yeah, yeah. What was it like? Twenty bioweapons uh, factories. Uh, 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 let's not get there. Is that what you're talking about, the C word? 
Uh, not quite, but uh, well, yeah. Let's gonna, not touch it. Let's not touch yeah. it. Not touch but it. anyway, we, but anyway, we know the real reason why Russia is there. Yeah. Russia is not there to take over the Ukraine. They're not there to kill Ukrainians. They're not there to harass anybody. They're there to do a specific target and possibly leave if uh, you know, as long as nobody starts a bunch of shit. You know, now, obviously, if people start a bunch of shit, then they're going to have to defend themselves. But all right, yeah. Five dollars a gallon at the gas pumps now. Yeah, I, what did I say? Did I not say that would happen? Yeah. Uh, Americans are expected back. to see five dollars at the gas pump in the coming weeks as the yep. Russia's invasion of Ukraine continues. Well, they're they're gonna they can blame it on Russia all they want, but Russia ain't got nothing to do with the gas. Russia five not nothing to do with that. Yep. Not a damn thing. No, not a damn thing. Not a goddamn thing. No. No, not a thing. Greeting. Someone's using uh, Rev's icon. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, they posted something above that, too, that you want oh, to get rid of. Go. Yeah, I'll get rid of that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good old Trump came out and supported Zelensky. Yeah, that's not going to age well, Mr. Trump. Because... Um, Zelensky is a, Zelensky is a paid, he's a paid uh, weasel, puppet, puppet yeah, a, weasel, whatever. He's yeah. a paid scumbag. He's a paid he's scumbag. a yeah, he's a much. worm. He's a slivering little fucking weasel worm. Pretty much, yeah, pretty much. He is not. Uh, he is not what people think. You know, they're trying to portray him online as this hero and shit. And he went out to the battlefield, and yeah, I don't give a damn how many battlefields he went out to. He's a scumbag. He's a scumbag that worked for the Bidens, the Obamas, and the Clintons. He's a scumbag. Mm, sorry. You know, I know people want to think the best of this guy, but no, he's a scumbag. This uh, Toby, who's, a, I guess, a friend of the show, he says, Ukraine is a democracy like us, and Russia is a dictatorship. That's not necessarily true. That's we're, not we're, quite we're, we're, First of all, we're a republic, not a democracy. Right. That's yeah, first of all, we're a republic, and Russia is... It's technically a republic too. They're no. technically a republic as well. Um, you know, so, uh, now you know. I know Putin has got voted back in several times, but the reason Putin keeps get, getting voted back in is because he's doing a damn good job. I mean, the Russian people love him. The Russian economy is booming. The people are got good paying jobs. They're bringing in money hand over fist, and that's why. You know, that's, you know, so that's why Putin keeps getting, you know, because everybody's yeah. like, well, why does Putin keep getting reelected? Because he's a good, he's done good for his people. You know, you do good for your people, you're going to get reelected. Duh. <laughs> you know, that's just the way it goes, right? So, yeah. yeah man. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Tired, Vaughn? Mm, not especially, no. Although I could sleep, but not especially. Yeah. Well, I could sleep too. I love sleeping. You know me. Oh, yeah. Dozens of UN delegates take action when Russian foreign minister begins speaking. What? What's that supposed to fucking mean? What happened? What are you reading? Uh, I'm going to tell you here in a minute says dozens of UN delegates take action when Russian foreign minister begins speaking. And uh, let's pull that up. There it is. You're going to have to put it up for me. Yeah, yeah. Ding. In Ding. a display to show the extent to which Russia has become a pariah in the world community, Diplomats at Humanity, Human, Human Rights Council of the United Nations walked out as a Russian foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov, addressed the body. About 100 people representing 40 nations left the hall in Geneva, Switzerland, where they were gathered, according to Reuters. Lavrov appeared by video, saying that he could not attend in person because of a ban against Russia-owned planes flying through European Union member countries' airspace. All right, HR members walk out. Yeah, HRC members walk out once Lavrov's video begins to play in the session of the council. Enough of exposure to the deranged lunacy of war criminals. 
We will listen to you at International Tribunal for War Crimes and Putin's Regime. Uh, Sergeyev Kisletsia, uh, Ukraine's representative to the UN, tweeted. Uh, Lavrov accused the EU of taking part in a Russophobic frenzy by giving military aid to Ukraine while Russia was seeking to overthrow its government. Uh-huh. Uh, right. Yevania flipped. Pilipinko, uh, Ukraine's representative on the Human Rights Council, called the walkout a remarkable show of support for Ukrainians who are fighting for their independence. Oh, for fuck's sake. Let me go let my dog in. All right. Thank you. People die every day, man. People die every day. Um. Yeah, this is yeah, this this is just insanity. Okay, bombing a few U.S. owned factories is not a a war or an invasion or anything else of that nature. And like I said, Russia has already asked for peace talks, and Zelensky refused. So whose problem is it now? Russia's? No. Russia was ready to go on peace talks and get the fuck out of the country. Even from the Zelensky. beginning, Russia didn't want to go. Putin was negotiating way before everything Exactly. Was exactly. Yeah. That was the whole point. Zelensky didn't want Russia to go in there and take out these laboratories. And that was the whole damn problem. If, if Russia, if, if Zelensky would have backed off and let Russia just go in, take care of these. Don't, don't, you know, don't, don't get too much into the end of it. That would have been the end of it. Yeah. That would have been the end of it. And there would have been, you know, all this, oh my God, it's a war. It's an invasion. It's World War Three. We're all going to fucking die. No, we're not. No, we're not. That's a lie. That is a total lie. It is not an invasion. It never was an invasion. They just went in there, hit their targets, and they were ready to go out. And Zelensky absolutely refused. Yeah. Oh, come here. Zelensky. Oh, there she is. There, there she is. is. There she, yeah, there she is. Hi, Nina. Hey, hi, Nina. <laughs> put you, put you, put your pooch. Is John? Is John? Put you, is John put you, put your pooch. There you are. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? You, hello. Right here. Look, no, look here. Look here. Look here. Right there. Look there. Right. Hello. <laughs> She's looking over there for some reason. She don't want nothing to do with me. <laughs> Damn a good doggy on the weekend. <laughs> Thanks, baby. <laughs> Damn a good doggy on the weekends, huh? <laughs> Damn a good doggy on the weekends. Yeah. Mm. See, yeah. When I'm sleeping, I'm a good doggy. Yeah, when she's sleeping, she's a good doggy. 6,000 <laughs> 6, BTUs, man. <laughs> 6,000 BTUs, man. I ain't got to worry about being cold at all. Right, right, right. right. Yeah, man. I right, put the right, right. I put the comforter over both of us, man, and we're we're both warm as toast all night. It can get exactly. down to single digit. It got down to single digits, and me and her was warm as toast, man, all night. So she puts out the heat, buddy. Wow, we she really puts out the heat, don't you? Right, right. Yeah. See, I put a. I'm a short haired dog, so maybe that's why. Maybe that's why I put out so much. The, what, one of your famous trolls and haters wants to know is uh, midnight pregnant. She looks like she's getting weight. Nope, she's not. Not to my knowledge. Not well, to my knowledge. Midnight always eats everything in the house anyway, so she's always yeah. a big girl. Yeah, she eats. She eats good. She is not uh she's not lacking for food. And like I said, I went to Walmart and bought dog food today anyway. So everybody everybody's got dog food today. So it's all good. It's all good, man. Look at this guy. Look at this piece of garbage. I love that love that dog while you can. I'm coming for her. You let her out, I'll take her from you. To get a better home, what a what a nasty fucking person! Who would see, fucking steal see, another see, person's see, dog? See, Listen this, to that, Bonnie. He's saying he's saying to steal someone else's dog. Okay, well that's a threat. That's a terrorist. That's a threat. threat. We're going to report that's, you. That's a terroristic threat. We can report him. Yes, we can. All right. That's so I'm not going to delete threat. the comment. I'm just going to go over there and just give a report. Yeah, just report his ass. Report that's a terroristic fucker, threat. Yeah. That absolutely is. Uh, don't delete it. Just report it. Yeah, that's a terroristic threat right there. All right, let's move on. Let's not dwell on it. No, certainly not. But uh, anything, any good other topics you want to talk about? 
Well, I mean, I've got, like I said, I got a Western Journal and a Gateway Pundit. So, I mean, I've got some topics if you want to talk about. Yeah, let's do it. Let's fucking do it. Let's do it. All right. Very good. Very good. <laughs> well, I'm so glad I figured out how to fix my Western Journal so that it didn't keep throwing up that 400 error all the time. It had to do with my. It had to do with my cookies. I had to go in there and. You and, said that uh, to me last time, Vaughn. That something happened to the cookies. Yeah, I had to go in there and fix the cookies, and now I don't have the 400 error no more. It's all gone. Isn't that great? That's good though, man. That's, That's great. very good, man. Yeah, hell yeah, it's awesome. That would have bothered the shit out of me if I had to deal with that. Oh God, it was aggravating as hell. Because <laughs> I you'd have to copy the link and then put repost the link, and it just yeah, it was, it was aggravating as all get out, man. It really was. Very frustrating. Yeah. Very frustrating. All right. Anyway, Kamala Harris explains Russia-Ukraine conflict to Americans like they are third graders. Uh, many have argued the Biden administration's inability to put forth a strong image may have contributed to Russia's decision to invade Ukraine. A recent podcast appearance from Vice President Kamala Harris likely won't do much to quell those criticisms. Harris joined the Morning Hustle radio show on Tuesday, and host Head, Rack, uh, Head Crack, uh, primarily known as an authority on hip-hop music, asked her to explain the current situation in Ukraine to the audience. And, uh, quote, if you're watching any level of news, even social media, you're seeing everything that's going on right now in the Ukraine, Head Crack said, uh, break it down in layman's terms for people that don't understand what's going on, and how the, can this directly affect the people of the United States, unquote. Uh, when Headcrack said layman's terms, he seemingly did not realize how patronizing Harris was going to be in her response. Quote, so Ukraine is a country in Europe, unquote, Harris said. Quote, it exists in another country called Russia. Russia is a bigger country. Russia is a powerful country. Uh, wow, we. Uh, to be fair, Harris is probably used to talking at this level so that President Joe Biden can understand her. But for the average American, the patronizing tone was not going to cut it. Americans are asking for an explanation of the crisis and a plan to protect our own country, not a third grade geography lesson. Nonetheless, Harris continued her ridiculous explanation. Quote, Russia decided to invade a smaller country called Ukraine, Harris said. So basically that's wrong and it goes against everything we stand for. Uh, Harrison explained the term sovereignty and said America would stand with Ukraine. Uh, the tone Harris took in this response was obviously inappropriate for the setting, and there are two probable explanations as to why she did this. First, it is possible Harris is trying to distract from her lack of knowledge about the war between Russia and Ukraine. Of course. Uh, by using her time to explain basic terms in geography, Harris effectively avoided having to answer any hard-hitting questions about the conflict. The second possibility is that Harris actually believes the average American listening to this radio show is so stupid that they need to hear a third grade history lesson. In either case, Harris is not displaying any positive leadership qualities. In addition, there is the implication of what the left likes to call subtle racism uh, with Harris's comments. She was speaking to two black Americans who undoubtedly have a large black audience and she seemingly felt the need to talk down to them, which would imply she believes that they are not as smart enough uh, to understand the issues plaguing the country. Harris did go a little deeper after her initial explanation, but even then, she simply uh, repeated popular White House talking points without actually saying much of substance. Quote, when it comes to what we know to be principles of fairness, we know that what Russia is doing is wrong, unquote, Harris said. Uh, quote, when it comes to what needs to happen then, well, there needs to be severe consequence and accountability, unquote. Yeah. Um, Harris explained the United States has issued sanctions against Russia, which he said were meant to put a real hurt on their economy. Uh, she failed to mention that the sanctions have at best mixed results as a means to deter countries from unethical behavior. Co-host L'Oreal Lore, uh, pressed Harris on the issue of sanctions. She said Biden claimed the sanctions against Russia were, quote, to put in place to prevent anything from happening, unquote, but that Harris said the opposite. We had sanctions before the actual invasion. 
We threaten sanctions to hopefully deter Russia from going in, Harris said. She compared this action to a parent telling a child, uh, the potential consequences of their actions in hopes of deterring them from certain behaviors. So that's where we started with the sanctions, Harris said. But then when Russia actually went in, we are now implementing the sanctions. Uh, the fact is that these sanctions have not deterred Russia from entering Ukraine, and they are unlikely to stop further aggression now. Overall, the interview made Harris sound both patronizing and weak on the world stage. Amid Russia's aggressive actions and continued shrugging off of U.S. sanctions, it was exactly the opposite of the image the Biden administration needed to project. Mm, yeah. And, uh, so there you go. Yeah, indeed. Indeed, indeed. Yeah, someone out in the outside chat says that uh, Kentucky State Code 394020 is uh, on your side, Vaughn. I don't know. I never, I don't know. I if that don't is. know. I do not know. I don't know. What does it even mean? Has anyone studied it? Uh, he's got the answer down there. You got to scroll down. There it is. It means that Vaughn lied about the right of his blood ear. It will does not need to include the blood ear. It took Vaughn advice. Google it. Kentucky State Code three nine four zero two. Well, okay, that you can believe that all you want, but like I said, I have thousands, and I mean thousands, of court cases where the blood heir went back later on and won their case. Okay, so you know, sorry. Uh, the blood and air. these people don't really actually care. I mean, the, the, the blood at the end is, of the day, you're going to win. Obviously, you're in the right. Win. It's my fucking land. It doesn't it's belong your to the fucking frost. land. It does not belong to the frost. That's right. It's my yeah. fucking land. It does not belong to the frost. And you cannot give land to miners. You cannot. I don't give a damn what anybody says. Well, who's it's the miners? My my children. They're they're saying oh. that my children are going to get the land. No, they're not. No, they're not. You cannot, you can, miners cannot inherit any land. And, and do you really believe that I'm going to sit here for eight goddamn years waiting for uh, my kids to turn 18? Fuck no, I'm not. The, their fucking ass is going to prison before that happens. I am not waiting. Oh, yeah, no these people are going to start dropping. Yeah. I'm not going to wait no eight fucking years. No way. This is no, I ain't going to be years. waiting no eight fucking years either. I don't know, man. Yeah. Uh, 250 is enough for foam planes and not, what did that say? Snotches? $250 a month won't even pay my cable bill. My cable bill is $280 a month. You're an idiot. If you think a person can live on $250 a month, you are a fucking idiot because nobody can live on that kind of money. And that, by the way, is proof that the document's fraudulent. That's absolute proof. What are you talking about? Fraudulent. What's this going on? I, I will. My will. They oh, cut oh, me out of the will and then give me $250 as, as some sort of fucking, uh, you know, stab in the back type shit. Nobody's going to live on $250 a month. Like I said, my cable bill is $280 a month just by itself. Okay, so yeah, it's all bullshit. And they know, they know it's bullshit. They know it's bullshit. Yeah. Well, that's true. You can get TV through the internet and save money too. Holy shit, Fon, you spent $200 on fucking internet? Internet, cable, and phone. It's all three together. Oh, three together. Holy shit, Vaughn. Yeah. I pay 50 bucks on my internet. Holy shit. Yeah, well, I don't know what the internet by itself is. Uh, let's see here. All right, let's see. Let's get... This cockroach. Who's Drag Jim? You know this guy? Huh? Dragon Jim. He's the one that claims to be a police officer. And oh, he isn't. Oh, yes, right. He's, and he isn't. He's a go yeah, he's a. Let's get rid of him. Yeah, he's not a police officer. He lied. He lied about that shit. Yeah, most of these people lie about everything, to be honest. Of course. With you. Of course they do. Of course they lie. Okay, that's not what I want. Um,.
Right, Toby's right. It's so old they say he in it. They need to update it to 42 genders. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. A lot of cockroaches out tonight. Come on, this ain't. I'm not no babysitter. I'm not here to babysit you. Yeah, a lot of, lot of, lot here. of, a uh, lot of trolls wanna... coming in. That's yeah. all right, man. Let them use up all their sock accounts so we can ban off their ban all their sock accounts. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Oh, oh, there we go. Get my little stretch my legs a little bit. And my little toesies on mm. camera. Oh. Let's see what I got over here as a snack. Ooh, granola. Oh. Love granola. Yeah. Granola is good for you. It's healthy. Oh, he came back with another sock account. Of course. Get rid like of I him. said, just just keep banning, just keep banning. <clears throat> Nana four says, if I ban everyone, I'll lose subscribers. Like I give a shit. I'll ban you too now. Nobody, Bye. nobody gives a damn about YouTube trolls. Get yeah, no one gives a shit about. <laughs> give, give, get a clue. Nobody gives a damn. I mean, it's not like you know, if you guys was giving us super chats every day and shit it might be different but you're not you're not giving us super chats so fuck you bye see ya you know smokey's in the room what's going on smokey yeah. Warren and John. uh let's see let's see oh yeah that's well, we can't. Yeah, caught your stream there, Smokey. You were talking about something. Uh, Smokey's uh, very anti young earth. If you believe in a young earth or flat earth, he'll, he'll nail you to a cross like a fagula. Yeah. yeah, well. Well, I guess technically. Okay, here's the thing, okay? Like I said, we're literally standing on. Civilization after civilization after civilization after civilization after civilization after, you know, uh, ground ground radar proves this. OK, this is not, you know, something made up. Ground radar proves this. OK, right, so, this is an atheism. Yeah. So, you know, the thing of it is, is that when they wipe out the other humanity and start our our lineage. I guess it is kind of a new earth because they bury all that old shit and um, fresh medjool oats. Dates. Dates. Medjool dates. These are so good. They're oh, so they tasty. Really? Oh, what do they yeah. taste like, man? I, I don't think I've ever ate a date. What do they taste oh, like? Oh, man. It's so sweet and juicy. Oh, is it? Mmm. Mm. Oh, okay. I mean, what does it taste like? Does it taste like a grape? Does it taste like an orange? Does it taste like a pineapple? Yeah. Does, what does it taste like? Okay, so it has the texture as like a prune, right? But it has the sweetness and 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 yumminess of a raisin. Oh, oh, so it's like does that make really sense? Little, so it's like eating a very large raisin, wrinkles included. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. Okay, it's okay. so yummy. Very good. Just remember, in Raiders of the Lost Ark, the dates were poison. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Remember? Yep. The monkey grabbed a date and ate it and died. Get a midnight. Kill. Hold. Spindle. Mutilate. Destroy. Okay. Well, anyway. TOR came back out of the sewer and decided to poke at me. Who did? And I decided to uh, solid, do him a solid by responding to his three subscribers. Oh, but yeah. what a mensch, what a good man you are, Smokey. Yes, yes. 
Uh, anyway, Absolute Trust Council protecting the rights of heirs of deceased beneficiaries. Uh, what more do I? I don't think I need to say any more right there. Boom, done. I don't think I need to say much more than that. Like I said, there are tons and tons and tons of court cases where uh, people have went back as blood heirs and got their property away from people that try to steal it from them. Yeah, there you go. Uh, my old buddy Pipey needs to go bye-bye. He needs to go bye-bye. Vaughn never had a date. Yeah, right, Smokey. Yeah, I only sired three. No, excuse me. I sired several children. Not just three. I sired several, but unfortunately, they didn't make it, sadly. But, yeah, Pipey has to go. Yep. My old pal, Pipey. Especially because that flag he has in his icon is a very... Well, not only that, but it's the idea that he's currently breaking UK law by even being here. That's oh, the, that's true. Yeah. Hey, See, yeah. UK has that anti-trolling law, and so he, he's he's literally breaking UK law just by being here. So we got to get rid of him quick. You know, as soon as you see him, he gotta, he's got to go bye-bye. Got to go bye-bye. Go bye-bye. That article is about taxes. Yeah, sure it is. Sure it is. <laughs> sure it is, man. Yeah. They just they, they just can't stand it. They can't stand being wrong. They cannot stand being wrong. But I'm telling you, you think I, you think the frosts are going to be successful stealing my property. You're wrong. Watch what happens. Watch what happens. They are wrong. They cannot steal my property. No, they cannot. And like I said, my children are too young to inherit the property. And besides, the Frosts have no intentions of giving my property to my kids anyway. That's why they're paying these schmucks over in family court to try and farm them out for adoption. Because they have no intentions of giving the property to my children. They never have. James Arnold Frost stood in that backyard over there, stretched his arms out like this and said, this is all going to be mine. How the hell is it going to be mine if he's leaving it to my kids? Okay, so no, he's not He's not leaving it to kids. He's not leaving it to my kids. He might leave it to his kids, but he's not leaving it to my kids at all. What do you want? Get over there. There you go. But he's not leaving it to my kids. That's for goddamn sure. And like I said, miners can't inherit land any goddamn way. Y'all are idiots. Y'all are stupid. And, and I would point out further, any document, any legal document that violates established Kentucky law is dead on arrival, man. It's dead on arrival. Sorry. Where is Jerry's money? That's a good question. That's a very good question. Because that is a violation of the law, too. Did you know the only reason they can remove my Jerry's money from me is if he's been adopted out? Mm. Oops. Yeah, as long as he's my son, that money stays. It's my, it's mine to, you know, until he turns 18, I'm in charge of his money. In fact, I'm in charge of all of his affairs until he turns 18. And for the government to shut off his money is a crime, especially in light of the fact that that's the only income I have to live on. Uh, so, yeah, it's a crime. I don't care whether you think I'm wrong or not, troll. I could care less, okay? I don't give a shit whether you think I'm wrong or not. Yeah, I'm doing good. Healthy. Eating well. Kentucky law is very clear. The blood air is sacrosanct. I don't give a damn what you what you I don't know where you dug that shit up. Let me Google that. Look at this one. Uh, Tr Tr Trina came out the uh, whatever her name is turned out to be a real bimbo. No, the kids, kids are not even get... if they're adopted. It's up for sale now. No, it's goes not for the sale. Courts and Jerry's money goes with Jerry wherever he is, whatever he has. No, that's not how it works. No, sorry. But how would you like it if the government come and took your money away? Would you like that? Do you think yeah. that's legal? Can you find that anywhere in the Kentucky State Constitution where the government has a right to come and take my son's money away from me? You won't find it. I guarantee. I guarantee you will not find that in the Kentucky Constitution. No fucking way. How would you like it if the government come and took your money away from you? That, that, no, that's bullshit. That's, that's a load of horse shit. There's no fucking way that's legal. 
Now, once Jerry gets adopted to another family, then they cut off his money, yes. But before he gets adopted, they have no right to cut off Jerry's money at all. And that's going to get them in the ass. I'm going to get them in court over that shit. Because they do not have a right to shut off Jerry's money. And Jerry's money's been shut off how many years now? Two years? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, there's some people going to go to prison, all right, but it ain't me. They had no right to shut off Jerry's money. None. Like I said, do you think it's lawful for the government to come and take your money away? Fuck no, it ain't. There's no way in hell that's lawful. No way in hell is that lawful. I don't understand what's going on, Vaughn. Why didn't your uh, mother just fucking give you the fucking property? She did. Why don't we she did, fucking John. Fuck fuck his, uh, LF involved? I'm sick she of that. She did, John. Me. She did, John. But see, here's here's the problem. The problem is is that uh, they stole all of her legal documents out of her house, and then they got Stella House, a corrupt attorney, to forge all of her signatures and her documents and put him in, and put James Arnold Frost at the top of the will as the executor. That's what they did. That's what they did. Now, one thing that mom did do wrong is she put Helton on the will instead of Bon Helton. And so she had to go back to uh, Clay M's office to fix that. Well, okay. she never got she never got back up to Clay M's office to fix it. So the will is incomplete. Now, the problem is, is that Clay County says that will is complete, which is a felony because it's not complete. But Why does it matter if it's is. Von Helton or Helton? You're, it's the fucking same person. No, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. There are seven James Heltons down here. It has to be James Paul Von Helton. It cannot be James Helton because there are seven James Heltons down here. Seven of them. So yeah, it has to be Von Helton. There is you can't be the any, anything else. I don't know, man. Sounds like a whole fucking lot of nonsense. No, the only nonsense is is having to wait. But don't worry, everybody's going to go to prison over this shit. They've committed. They have. They have committed numerous felonies. They don't know it yet, but they have. Oh. oh boy, unbelievable. Smokey, go bye bye. Jerry's money is under my, all of Jerry's assets are under my control until he turns 18. That's the law, dumbass. How would you like it if the government came in and fucking took your shit away? You think that would, you think that's legal? Do you really believe that it's legal for the government to come and take your money away? No, it is not. No, it fucking is not. Where in the fuck are you guys getting this communist bullshit from that the government has a right to take somebody's money? No, they fucking wow. don't. You're Von, a moron. Just, That's communism. That Von, is not capitalism. That, that is mad. communism. Von, they're saying it to get you mad, man. Don't listen. Yeah, don't. but that's communism. A moron would figure out that that's communism. That's the government saying they can come and take your money whenever they fucking feel like it. There's no fucking way that that's constitutional. No way. Are you fucking morons hearing this shit? Clean the wax out of your ears. The government doesn't have the right to take something after they give it to you. No, they fucking do not. You're a bunch of idiots. You're a bunch of fucking communist bastards. That's communism. Communism says the government has absolute right to take whatever they want. Well, I'm sorry, but that's not what we live under. We don't live under communism. Now, CPS would like to believe we live under communism, but I, I assure you, we do not live under communism just yet. Now, the Biden administration is trying to turn us into a communist fucking state, but we're not there yet. We're not there yet. Communism is when the government can take your shit. Capitalism doesn't say anything about taking shit away from you. 
But communism does. That is, co yes, damn it, it's communism. That is communism. When the government can take something away from you, that is communism. Yeah, it is. It sure is fucking capitalism. You guys are you guys are communist morons. Of course, all these all these people are communists. Fuck yeah, they are. They're communist bastards. We, had, they they need, we need to ship every one of their fucking asses to communist China and let them live over there for a while and see how they like it. Where the government all takes these everything live, away from them. They live with their mother in a in like a dark room in the basement, and they troll people on the internet. Jerry is my son, Smokey. God damn it, you fucking moron. My blood is flowing through Jerry's veins. He is my blood son. I am in charge of his affairs until he turns 18. Just like you are in charge of your children until they turn 18. Are you really that fucking mental? Are you really that fucking stupid to have believe that the government come in and take your shit away from you? That's communism, you fucking moron. That's not capitalism. We don't live under communism Juan, in this country. Juan, take it easy. Uno momento, por favor, easy. Jerry's, it's not getting Jerry's money because Jerry cannot handle right, Jerry's I'm gonna money. Stop, I'm going to stop blocking them. Let me just get rid of them. Get rid of them. Jerry's money pays to live here. OK, Jerry has to have a house to live in. He has to have a place to come home to. If he doesn't have a place to come home to, then he's going to be out on the street. And so am I. And so is his sisters. That was the only income we had. You fucking commie bastards. That's the only income we had. When you take that away, we can't pay rent. We can't do nothing. We can't buy shit. We can't buy toilet paper, paper towels, toothpaste, brushes, hair, you know, hair care products. We can't buy anything without money. And you commie bastards convinced Clay County to take Jerry's money away for two and a half fucking years. And I hope every one of you, if there is a, if there is a Christian hell, I hope every one of you are going to it. Because you deserve <laughs> to be. You deserve to be. That's funny. Every one of you deserve to go burn in a in, for all eternity for what you. But Von, I thought you pagans don't you don't you believe in eternal uh, hell and fire? We we have we have outer darkness, uh, we have wow. that, and we have the plains of oblivion, and we have the river sticks. So yeah, we've got an underworld. It's not quite. It's not like the Christian hell where you burn forever. But you know, okay. we we do have an underworld. Okay. Get a job. Are you fucking idiot? Are you an idiot? I don't know if you've noticed, but there's a fucking pandemic out there. And there's a whole shitload of 20-year-olds that don't have jobs. Who do you think they're fucking going to hire? Do you think they're going to hire a 58-year-old that's disabled? Or do you think they're going to hire a 20-year-old that can run rings around me? Who do you think a business is going to hire? You're a yeah, moron. Not, You're well, a first fucking of all, idiot. You are a but, fucking idiot. First of all, Von, you were doing all right until they fucking destroyed your YouTube until channel. Until they destroyed my YouTube channel, I was doing and you, just fine. You already had support. All kinds you, of already were doing, you were already providing support for yourself. I was providing for my family. That was my job. My YouTube channel was my so job. The trolls, so these scumbags money. that are saying to get a job, these are the people that destroyed your life. Exactly. And then they're going to say, oh, um, you know, tough, you know, tough dookie, you're going to have to get yeah, a job. Yeah, exactly. Well, well, well what I'm about sorry, but that's not how it works. Well, yeah, when I started an online business repairing computers, what did they do? They come along and sabotaged it, claimed that I was putting used parts, smelly parts in, in computers, which was a total lie, and ran off all the customer base that I had. So, yeah, you're right. These are hypocrites. They aren't interested in me having a job. They're not interested in me in, in doing well, or they wouldn't have fucked up my YouTube channel years ago. <laughs> Someone by the name of Gods of Von Helden. Yeah, get rid of that shit. Von Helden is a prince. I'll make sure he wins the Powerball. Isn't living off government assistance a form of socialism? No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it is not. I paid in. I paid into that by working. I paid into that by working. Everyone that worked paid into it. 
Now, had I not worked, that would be different. Can't, I can't access my free internet. The frost come out and locked all the fucking doors, which, by the way, is a felony every day, grand theft, every day, grand theft, every day. Every day that I can't go over there and access my free internet is grand theft. Look it up, boys and girls. If LF is listening, repent. He ain't going to repent. Give it all up. He ain't going to repent. He's a convicted criminal. He's a convicted He's a criminal. Convicted he ain't going to change. Larry uh, Larry Frost is a convicted criminal. Fuck yeah, he is. So how does he have power to do anything with this debt? Why would they give him a criminal? Why would they give a criminal? Good oh, question. Uh, That's a very good wait question. Wait a minute, man. You're telling me a fucking criminal? They gave a criminal scumbag? They gave a criminal every dime of my mother's SSI and stimulus checks. They put him in charge of my rent money. I haven't seen a drop of rent money in God knows how long. He currently owes me $15,000 in back rent. He let the Combs leave out of here owing me $25,000 in back rent. Yeah. But yeah, he's a convicted criminal. Fuck yeah, he is. Fuck yeah, he is. Isn't it amazing how the trolls in the outside chat are supporting criminals? Oh, wait. Well, they're half criminals half the trolls are criminals. Yeah, half the yeah, trolls half the are pros criminals. Are criminal. I mean, yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. They're, they're criminals too. So, of course, they're going to defend a criminal. Fuck yeah, they are. Fuck yeah, they are. But yeah, you know, anybody anybody that thinks what the, what Clay County is doing is legal, let the government come and take your fucking money away. Or even take your children's money away. Let's say, let's say I put a trust in a bank for my son. Do you really believe the government has the right to come and take that away? Fuck no, they don't. They don't have Mom, the right to trolls, take that money. Mom, these trolls don't have kids. These trolls couldn't get laid in a morgue if the corpses were fucking nailed to the table, man. What are you well, talking that's true. about? That's true. That's <laughs> these true. people don't have kids. That's a good point. They can't yeah, even they get laid. They ain't never going to have kids, no. 90% and even of if they did have kids, they can get laid, man. What are you well, talking even, about? Even if, even, yeah, but John, even if they did have a kid, they just kill it through abortion anyway. So oh, they well, they, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they just kill it through abortion anyway, even if they did have a kid. Yeah, fuck yeah. Well, they're sick anyway, right? So, of course. But yeah, man. Um, yeah, let, let you know. Let I'll tell you. What, I'll tell you what. Anybody want to volunteer to give me your personal information? I'll send the government down there to steal all all your kids' money. I mean, fair is fair, right? If you truly believe that the government has a right to take my son's money, I'll call the government on your happy ass and have them take your kids' money. Fair is fair, right? I mean, if you really believe that the government has a right to take your kids' money, I'll call the government and have them come down and take yours. Right? Fair's fair? Oh, I don't see any hands. I don't see anybody volunteering. Gee, I wonder why. Yeah, if I set up money for my kids, the government ain't got no right to take that money. That money from SSI belongs to my son. They don't have a right to touch it. They don't have a right to cut it off. They don't have the right to cut that money off until he is adopted to another family. We well, ain't been adopted to no other family yet. So cutting that off is totally illegal. Why don't I get a pension from the VA? Because the VA is a piece of shit. Ask anybody. The VA is a piece of shit. You have, you you can't getting 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 money from the VA is like uh, you might as well you might as well pull an arm off or something because it's very difficult to do. The troll actually said that the right for a change, man. Yes, they do have a corruption problem. Was it the troll actually said that right this time? Yeah. They ain't got no choice. I mean, when all that's left is the truth, you ain't got no choice. Uh, Smokey, how come you hate, how come you're a hater, Smokey? Yeah, how come you are a hater, Smokey? Why is that? 
That's a, that's a good question. I, I, I don't recall ever doing jack shit to you, Smokey. So why do you why are you a hater, man? Why are you a hater? I don't remember ever doing jack shit to you. I didn't do it. Yeah, we didn't. Okay? Do, I didn't do nothing to I you. Vaughn didn't do nothing to you. We didn't do nothing. I wonder to you. if Smokey's okay with going to prison with these fuckers when I when I round them up and throw them in prison. Are you okay with that, Smokey? You want to go to jail with these fuckers? They're all going to prison, man. You gonna go with them? I mean, it's your choice. You know, everybody has a choice. Everybody's got a choice. Right. Well, we're just asking questions too, Smokey. We're just asking questions. Too. Yeah, we're just asking questions too. Why we're all just the hate? Asking questions. Yeah, where's the hate? Where, like, where's the like the commercial? Where's the beef? Like, what's going where's on? Where's the beef, man? Beef? Yeah. Tell me, tell me what I did to you, Smokey. Go ahead. I, tell what that evil. You know, where the where the fuck is it? Um, show me on the puppy where Vaughn touched you in, inappropriately. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let's see it. Man. Tell me, tell me where it hat. Tell me where it hurts, man. Yeah, we we did Vaughn. We did Vaughn finger you. Where did he fi Where did he finger you? Did Vaughn touch you like Jesus? Like was 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 Vaughn? Did J Vaughn give you the Jesus mo moment? Like a fagula, Jesus the fagula, he's touching you, and the, touch, touching you, touching you in all this, in all the, in, in all the sexy ways, in all the sexy ways, touched by Vaughn. You know, so, so Vaughn, we're gonna have a, we're gonna have a new series here. <laughs> Vaughn, we're gonna have a new series. You know how they have touched by Jesus. We're yeah, gonna we're gonna have a new series. Touched by Vaughn. Yeah, there you <laughs> tell go. Tell us where Vaughn touched you. That's uh, yeah. Tell us where Vaughn touched you. And remember, yeah. boys and girls, it's not my fault. Okay, it's not my fault. Just remember, boys and girls, it's not my fault. Okay, there'll be a quiz later. Trust me, there will be a, qu a quiz later because it's not my fault. No one put a gun to anyone's head and made them do what they've done to my family. No one put a gun to any of the trolls' heads and made them do what they did. No one put a gun to any of the Frost's heads and made them do what they did. No one put a head to any of the Clay County people and made them do what they did. Vaughn's going to get his kids back soon. Don't worry about that, Julian. Yeah, hopefully soon. Don't you worry, hopefully girly. Soon. Don't you yeah. worry, girly. I'll get him back eventually. I'll get Don't him back you eventually. worry, girly. Well, Smokey is a little, he says he's a little butthurt because you blew up on him on Brett's show. You blew, I guess you made Smokey cry on Brett Chauvin. Is that true? I don't know if he challenged me on on history. Uh, yeah, I probably did lay into him because I mean mm -hmm. I've been studying history all my fucking life, all and right. I don't think there's many people that can make such a claim. I mean, when I was at the ripe age of five years old, I was going into a fucking library pulling books down off the shelf. Show me one other motherfucker that can make a claim like that. Yeah, nobody, nobody I know. You donate, you donate to the, you donate to Vaughn, uh, let's say 50, 100 bucks. We'll give you a little tour of the property. Why not? Vaughn, how much does a person need to do donate to get a tour of the property? Um, I don't know, actually. I don't know how that works. No, I don't know how that works. I you know, I know, I know, I know. I know guided tours ain't cheap. I know that shit. I mean, you call you call and ask how much a guided tour costs. Well, no, anywhere. but no, Vaughn, just over the internet. If you were to just show them on online, like real quick. Oh, just show them with my mobile device or something. Yeah. Well, my mobile device won't charge? reach that far. <laughs> my mobile device won't reach that far, unfortunately. Oh, I see. And besides, I've already showed them most of the most of the property anyway. Yeah, they've seen the field when I was flying those aircraft. They've seen the field. Yeah. They've seen mom's house, my house. You know, the only thing they haven't really seen is the, uh, is the, uh, oh, that's the tag. The only thing they haven't seen is, is the rental property. And I, I don't think it'd be appropriate to show them that anyway. So. Yeah. My list, batteries, yeah. light bulbs, and dog food. Batteries, light bulbs, and dog food. Batteries, light bulbs, so what, Vaughn? What happened? What, what, why you need a light bulbs? I my light bulbs were blowing out. I need to replace them. Oh, okay.
Did you cry like you did talking to Adam Lore? I cried? Really? And because who the fuck is Adam no Lore? Idea. I don't even I don't remember nobody named Adam Lore. And it's I think if I cried, I would remember it. Well, I think if I cried, I would fucking remember it, right? Yeah. Yeah, the only one crying is gonna be him in prison when Tyrone bends him over and give him giving him the goods. Yeah, exactly. Exactly right. It'll be all right. Smokey wants to know, would you debate Dr. Falk uh, on Judo, Judeo... Judeo-Christian, Judeo-Egyptian history. Why the fuck would I, date, would I debate a Muslim over Egyptian history? Muslims don't know the first thing about Egyptian history. Dr. Falk, who's that? A Muslim doctor? He would have to be. He would have to be. See, the, the Muslims invaded Egypt and slaughtered all the ethnic Egyptians. They killed every one of them, man, woman, and child. Oh, killed yeah. them all. Oh, there, is sure. no, there is no such thing as an Egyptian anymore. They don't exist. They were all slaughtered by the Muslims. What was that? Um, 800. I'm looking, that, I'm looking that up now, Dr. Falk, who that is. He looks like some white boy, Vaughn. I don't think he's a Muslim. Uh, do model citizens go to hell cell like Von Helden did? They do when they're falsely accused. I was the falsely hell is accused. Hell, what the hell is a hell cell? Hell cell is like a generic uh, cell for um, for uh, misdemeanors and shit like that. Uh, it's just oh, okay. a general purpose cell. There's like about 10 or 12 people in there. And um, so... He's a Christian. And by the way, all of any criminality has been expunged from my record as being proven false. So let's not get it twisted. I am a model citizen. I do not break the law. I do not have a criminal record. Unlike everyone, and I mean everyone in the outside chat, has a criminal record. Why is that, guys? Mm -hmm. Why can't you be like me and not have a criminal record? Why is that? Oh, that's why you're trying to give me a criminal record, because you have one, and I don't. Well, la-di-da. We I'll, deba I'll debate him on um, ancient... Uh, I, I'll debate him on uh, Judeo-Egyptian history, sure. Dude, it's a, it's a trap. It's a trap. It's not real. Is it it's a trap? You think so? Yeah, fuck yeah, it is. It's not legit. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. There's not, none, none of this shit's serious. None of this shit's legit. It ain't real. I had a troll promise me $200. Five years later, I'm still waiting on my $200. Yeah, it ain't coming. All right. It ain't coming. Like I said, if these fuckers want to prove that they're legit, let them start giving you super chats. Oh, wait, they're not. And they're not going to. They're not going to. They're not going to give you no super chats. Mm. They don't give a damn. They're not going to give you no fucking uh, super chats. I'm not going to lose my house, Smokey. Sorry, yeah, Smokey, why are you well, I don't understand. Why, what's with the hostilities? I mean, you come over here and you're like, uh, you know, king of, the, king of the trolls or something. I will remind you, Smokey, that Larry Frost is a convicted criminal. And anyone that assists him or the rest of the Frost in anything, be it family court, district court, civil court, if you are assisting the Frost in any way, shape, or form, you are aiding and abetting a criminal. Do you understand, Smokey? Because there's going to be there's going to be a quiz later. I assure you, there will be a quiz later. I assure you, there will be. So now you better not get this shit twisted, boy, because there's going to be a quiz later. Anybody that helped the Frost is going to go to prison right along with them. Bet on it. These people have broken the law. Numerous laws, actually. Numerous laws. The government does not have the right to come and take my, my shit away from me and give it a bunch of distant relatives that never earned it. Oh, man, look at this. I, get, I, I'm, I'm, I have the Uber app on my phone, and right. fucking Uber 
is spamming a bunch of shit at me. Help the Ukrainian refugees. Oh, Ugh. God, man. Help well, the why do I, I got to be the cocksucker that helps everyone? Why do I, yeah, why do I, I have to help? No, we're not going to help the Ukrainian we're, refugees. We're going to help everyone. It's not a fucking war. First of all, first of all it's not a fucking war. Second of all, uh, like I said, you know, Putin has already told Zelensky, hey, you know, we just wanted to take out them labs. We're done. See you. Bye. And Zelensky said no. Okay. Well, who's that on? Is that Russia's fault? No, it's Zelensky's fault. Zelensky's the one being a dick, not, not Putin. Yeah, I, I don't know Vaughn anymore. Cocksuckers. Uh, uh, John gets like, super chats. I don't know how to get super chats. How do I enable super chats? Well, I think you have to have so many, uh, so many viewers and so many. I mean, we have fucking. I mean, I have Bitcoin. You want to do Bitcoin? We could do Bitcoin. Well, you got Cash App too. You can throw our Cash App up there. Yeah, where the fuck is the Cash App tax shit? What's your Cash App spawn? What's that again? Uh, dollar sign James Paul Von Hilton. Dollar sign James Paul Von. Oh, yeah. Yep, pretty sure it is. Let me double check. Let me verify that shit. Um, and mine is Johanan seven seventy. <coughs> oh, by the way, I did. Uh, I did finally find uh, separation of church and state. Uh, apparently, separation of church and state was started by Vladimir Lenin back in 1918 during the Bolshevik Revolution. So I just thought I'd throw that shit out there while we're at it. Streamlab. Okay, there we go. We can put that in a private chat for you. I don't know how to do Streamlab. There it's you stream go. Labs. Streamlabs, Streamlabs, uh, what Streamlabs does is it throws shit up on your screen like, um, like, uh, you know, like, uh, so and so just subscribed. Oh, and, that shit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It, it throws something up on the screen. And you have to be super cool to get super chats. Oh, yeah. man. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. Oh, it looks like Will's in the room. How you doing, Will? Smokey will not send any money. You're a fucking liar, Will. Sorry. But you're a fucking liar. liar. I know better than that. I know Have you ever watched that. the news in the last three weeks, Vaughn? Uh, yeah, but we, we, we watch the news all the time. Jefferson stated it earlier in the No, Jefferson. Okay, all right. Stop. God damn What happened? Stop. No, here's what here's what happened. What happened was Thomas Jefferson wrote a letter to the Danbury Baptist Church. Okay. And in that letter, Jefferson warned the Danbury Baptists of a possible separation of church and state that might come along later on. He was warning them about it. That was uh, to me. Not Will said that was church. to me and not to you. That was to me and not to you. Oh. But anyway, uh, the point well, is. What was is I that, saying? I don't even know what that was referenced to. Je Jefferson yeah, I, said. Well, that's, that's what I'm going to say. Anyway, the point is uh, Jefferson mentioned a separation of church and state in a letter to the Danbury Baptist Church, okay? And that was, um, that was uh, a, a warning to the Danbury Baptist. But the author, I already found the author. The author of separation of church and state was Vladimir Lenin in 1918. Google it, folks. Oh, wait, you don't have to. I've already got it up here on the screen right in front of me. Let me pull it up. And we will we will read it. We will read it. February 1918, Lenin published his notorious decree that separated the church from the state and the schools. Church property became state property. Soviet power from the very yeah. first day set about the total destruction of Russian, Ukrainian, Russian, Ukrainian and Belarusian Christendom. Boom. Boom shakalaka. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Who was talking about Russia and Ukraine all the way back when? February 1918, Vladimir Lenin published his notorious decree that separated the church from the state and the schools. 
church property became state property. Soviet power from the very first days set about a total destruction of Russian, Ukrainian, and Belarusian Christendom. Okay, uh, so yeah, the, the author of Separation of Church and State is Vladimir Lenin back in 1918. So anyone that gets behind a podium and advocates separation of church and state is what, class? Vitamin Lenin was communist. a fucking communist Jew. They're a fucking communist. That's right. Yeah. They're a fucking communist. Lenin, Period. that cocksucker. Yeah. So now we know, boys and girls. Any motherfucker that you see getting behind a podium advocating church and state is a goddamn communist. And I got Vladimir Lenin's own fucking words to prove it. Sucks to be you. Oh, look who he is. Uh, look what happened. Oh, yeah. Smokey didn't fucking bullshit. He did send 10 bucks. No, he did send you 10 bucks. Well, that was nice of him. Now, is that Bitcoin or is that uh, just regular money? Uh, It's regular money. Oh, just regular money. Mm-hmm. Regular money. Yeah, because if it had been Bitcoin, it would have been in you know there would have been dollars and cents, right? Because Bitcoin's constantly jumping up and down, jumping up and down. Jumping oh up yeah, down. Bitcoin. My fucking yeah, that shit's fucking. Me I got seven. I got I got seventy three cents, and um and that fucker's fluctuating like, I mean it just up and down, up and down, up and down. It's fucking crazy. It's like why the fuck did I even get that shit, bud? I got 73 cents just for shits and giggles. Someone gave you 73 cents in Bitcoin, Vaughn? I, I got 73 cents in Bitcoin. <clears throat> and um, and it's just, okay. you know, it's going up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. I've up sat here down, watching. Down. It's kind of, it's actually kind of humorous, really. I sit here and watch. Let's see what my Bitcoin is at. I should, oh, should you know what? Like I have to, oh, wait a minute. I have to post a retraction. I have to post a retraction. I'm sorry, Wilson did send me one fucking dollar. Okay, so thank you. Oh, someone uh, doxed him earlier in our room. Yeah, doxed him totally, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, totally doxed. Him. I didn't know every. I didn't know people hated. I, that guy is a troll of mine, so I don't mind people doxing him. I mean, I I think doxing people is wrong, but you know. Hey. Well, I do too, but hey, whatever. This is They're what volleyball kind of says, by the way. Trolls, William, Bill, Wallow, which. AKA, I am sorry, Wilson let his children die in the street because he was too drunk to pay attention to his kids. But yet, here's, but yet, he's a scumbag who harasses Vaughn all day on the internet about he's a bad father, but he's a fucking drunk that fucking leaves his kids Damn. to die in the street, you know? Damn. Wow. Be sure your sins will find you out. Isn't that what the Torah says, John? He says, notice how Drag won't, Dragnot won't mention his buddy Wilson being drunk piece of shit and lets his kid get run over. Mm. That, that, that is run funny, over. huh? That is run funny, over. huh, Drag? How come you don't mention that, Drag? Run over. Uh, Will, William Kincaid and, and Smokey, how come you don't talk about your buddy? I I love uh, Wilson. He's, they're always in your room, Will. How come you don't talk yeah, about I'm I sorry, love Wilson? Wilson is always over there, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, true. That's true. Ah, I wonder why you don't talk about that piece of shit. Oh, mm, good question. This fucking kid gets run over by a fucking car for being a drunk, huh? Well, I'm sorry, Wilson, though, did give me a dollar, so I have to make a correction. Well, I mean, he a dollar. I mean, he's basically he like, uh... yeah, by the time by the time it's processed, I only get what, like 23 cents or some shit. <laughs> but uh, whatever, whatever, you know. It looks good on paper, you know. He got a dollar. It's right? down again. Look at this shit. It was up. Yeah. To oh my god! It dropped like a rock. I better go look at mine. It looks like it dropped. <laughs> it's like forty-one again. It looks like it dropped like a fucking rock. Holy shit! Let me go take a look here. Let me the take a look. Been, see, I it, it was up to sixty-nine thousand earlier in the year. If it gets back up, that would be nice. Hopefully well, I still it, it says I still got seventy five cents. So it, it says, says I still here seventy five cents. So I'm good, I guess. It is I down. Still, it's down three point three. Yeah, I still got two. I got two hundred and thirty two dollars. Yeah, it says uh, it says it's down three three point three one percent. So I got twenty five dollars in C low. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. I got Stellar Lumens for ten dollars, and I got United States uh, current. Is it actually believe it or not? United States government has a Bitcoin, and I got twenty three dollars with them. Oh yeah, 
I actually made money with them. The the United the United wow. States Bitcoin actually went up three dollars. Mm. Wow. Mm. Hmm. That's Biden's money, probably. <laughs> oh yeah, probably. Yeah. That's probably Biden's money. <laughs> So, of course, that shit's going to fucking uh, go up, right? <laughs> uh, but, yeah, man. It says, uh, uh, it says it's down 3.33. Now it's down 3.33%. Uh-oh. It is dropping. It's going down with all hands, boys and girls. My goodness gracious. Have you hoya lifted the news? But yeah, let me read that again for the people in the back fucking row. February 1918, Vladimir Lenin published his notorious decree that separated the church from the state and the schools. Church property became state property. Soviet power from the very first days set about the total destruction of Russian, Ukrainian, and Belarusian Christendom. Didier, 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 didier. So yeah. So anybody, and I mean anybody, that gets behind a podium and advocates or supports separation of church and state is a card-carrying communist. No ifs, ands, or buts. No getting around it, because I'm reading it right fucking there. Yeah. Yep. Someone wants to know is Midnight dead? No, Midnight is not dead. Midnight's right over there sleeping. Yeah, just it was just on your lap just two seconds ago, you yeah, dumb dumb. What the fuck? Dumb dumb. Fucking dumb dumb. Come on. Ain't nothing wrong with that dog. You crazy. But thank you for trying to wish death on my dog. Fuck, man. What's the matter with you? Yeah, let me get rid of that. Let me get the rare rat What's the matter with you? Wishing death on my dog, man. Oh shit. It's really hopping now. 3.37 down. 3.38 down. It's dropping like a rock. Something happened. Three yeah. three point three nine. They say Russia's involved with Bitcoin and stuff. That know? ain't got that Bitcoin. They ain't got the fucking Russia going after some fucking bio labs. They ain't got nothing to do with Bitcoin. That's bullshit. That's a bunch, bunch of fucking bullshit. It's going down because the goddamn economy sucks. That's why it's. Going yeah, that's down. true. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Going down because the economy sucks. Three point four guys. It's dropping like a rock. Damn, 3.41. I hope it goes back up again. I'm gonna I'm gonna be losing my 75 cents. Uh-oh. <laughs> 3.7. 3. 3. Uh 3.7. It's really dropping, dude. Something something's going on because it's dropping like a rock. 3.71. 3.72 3. 3.73 3. 3.74 3.75 3. <laughs> Damn, I'm not going to I'm not going to look at that anymore, man. That's that's downright fucking depressing, man. <laughs> Holy shit. That's depressing as hell. My goodness. My goodness gracious, have you Hoya lifted the news? Mm -mm -mm. My goodness gracious. Oh, I think I, think I left something in my car. Hang on a minute. Uh oh. My truck's in the car. I just, just something, just a little piddly something. What? What do you want, Minus? You, you heard me grab the keys, and it's like, I want to go, too. I want to go, too. I want to go, too. All right, well, will you let me get my... Would you let me get my shoe on? God. Let me get my shoe on, Minus. My goodness. Oh, my tongue is in the way. My tongue is in the way. I wing away, I wing away, I wing away, I wing away. In the village, the peaceful village, the lion sleeps tonight. All right, get down, dog. All right, let's go. I think I'll lift up in the truck. Maybe if you haven't seen Wilson in ages. Maybe he's in prison for ne child neglect by now. That'd be nice.
I'm sorry, Wilson. He's in the fucking cocksucker Miss Parsh Miss uh Miss uh, Parker's room right now. What happened? Oh, Todd's here. Todd. Paul. It sounds like a name like Paul. My name's Paul. Oh. Todd gives Miss Parker fifty dollars super chats. What does he give you? He gives me the only thing he gives me is a headache. Okay. I I've yeah. never learned I have never known it. Anyone who complains, cries, moans, and blames everyone like Vaughn does. My grandmother didn't complain as much as Stinky. Stop it, Vaughn. You're lying. Vaughn doesn't complain, you dumb dumb. I mean, Vaughn's just hearing out his grievances. He wants to fucking let the world know what's being going on. Most people don't give a shit. That's what you That's right. Doing. But we're here. Yeah. How can we send you super chats? Oh, just easy. Just go to just, just go to uh uh, uh, cash app and and send money out. Yeah, just send us money through Cash App. That's all you got to do. That's all you have to do. That's all you have to do. Send us money. Todd through is cash friends app. with LF. Is that true, Todd? Are you friends with? Oh, Todd Malacote. Yeah, he's friends with the Pros. Yeah. Oh, is he? Oh yeah, yeah. They used to talk. They used to. Uh, they used to. Uh, Hope you're having a good oven. Yeah, I'm having a good evening. Thank you. For, you speak Yiddish now. Good <laughs> oven. You speak Yiddish? Good, Good in tag? Huh? Uh, uh, that's the sign of Dumaezo. I don't think most people I like him much. I don't think most people think I like him I don't like think him most much. people think I like him much. Yeah, but Todd, we know that you do like uh, you do like the pros. You, you're friends with him. So uh, I don't want to hear it. I'm from Yep, see, from number one person. says he's friends with the pros as well. See, well, that's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah, all the true confession time. Today. Yeah, true confessions, guys. Come on, let's get it all out. Let's get the cockroaches out. are coming out today. Yeah, he was on a stream the other night with Grampy. Well, what's Ooh, what a shock. Ooh, airing what out the grievances. Yeah, what, what a shock. shock. I only speak enough Yiddish. I only speak trouble. enough Yiddish to get me in trouble. Yeah, yeah, right. Right. Yeah, right. Yes. Well. <laughs> Indeed. He cried in the Yiddish sprack. Yeah. Kannst du nicht sprachen the Deutsche Wolfgang. Oh, man. Todd, I don't know what to do with you, Todd. It's so funny. Will goes to me, why don't you hang out with people like Todd? He's a nice guy. <laughs> 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 Hi, Todd. Hi, Todd. Wow, look at this delusional person. The, the LF seems like a down-to-earth person. Yeah, okay. Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, sure they are. Sure they are. Uh, they, they, they connived for 20 years to steal everything from my mother and me, but they're good people. Okay, you keep believing that shit. See the thing of it is, there, there. You got to understand law, man, and and most of you don't understand law, especially tr real estate law. Like I said, there's thing, there's things happening, okay. And I assure you that when the smoke clears, I am not the one that's going to jail. The frosts are, okay. The frosts have committed numerous felonies. They may not know it yet. They may not want to believe it. I don't give a damn either way. The point is, is that they're going whether they like it or not. Sorry, sorry. What do you want from me? You know, I got to tell the truth, right? If people break the law, they need to go to prison. Don't you agree? But no, the government does not have the right to take your children's uh, money away. I don't give a damn what their excuse is. The only time they can take the money away is if Jerry's been adopted out. Well, Jerry ain't been adopted out, so they can't Jerry take ain't going nowhere. Away. 
Jerry's not going anywhere. No. And if he does, I'll own the state of Kentucky if he does. Right. If they do take my kids, I'll be the new owner of state of Kentucky. Because this was all planned out by the Frost and these damned YouTube trolls, some of whom are in our very outside chat right now, way in advance, years in advance. Get down. All right. It's time for you to go, Bubba. Sorry. Bob number one is gonna we're gonna put you in uh we're gonna put you in outer darkness. Yeah, Bye -bye. you're going to the outter darkness. Okay, have a good day. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe for real. Maybe you can go out there and hang out with demons for real for a while. That would be nice. That would be really nice. Do 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 do. How do you do? How do you do? do 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 I'm a making stickers, man. Yeah, buddy. Now, you doing any new yeah. aircrafts lately, Vaughn? Um, I'm I'm about nearing completion with that new Port 11 that I've been working on. And uh, hopefully... Hey, I'll what get about that there. one you were selling on eBay? What happened? Um, A bunch of YouTube trolls went over there and started uh, talking a bunch of shit. And so I just closed everything down. Because oh. I'm not... I, I don't want to give up my... I got a perfect rating with eBay. Perfect. Okay. That's hard to do, okay? So I'm not going to fucking fuck that up, thanks to a goddamn bunch of YouTubers. See, what they do, they go over there and they start a bunch of shit in the messages and stuff, and then they whine and cry to eBay, and then they try to get me in trouble. Well, no, I'm not going to let them do that. No, fuck that. I'm not going to let them do it. So all my, all my sales are on eBay will be private, and you will have to get a link from me. I will have to verify who you are before you buy any of my shit. That's just the way it is, boys and girls. And if I yeah, find you out, do, yeah, I think YouTube you have to do like a private seller. Like, someone yeah, has I got to do a private you, seller. That's exactly what just, I got. You do. have to just send you the money through Cash App and just send it out that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got to have the money in advance. Yep. But yeah, they were trying to, uh, they were trying to, uh, you know, try to give me a bad rep in the in the comments and stuff. I'm not that stupid. Okay. <laughs> I'm not that stupid. I'm not going to let people destroy my, my perfect rating with, with uh, eBay. I've got a perfect rating with eBay. And I'm not going to have anybody fuck that up. Sorry. Not going to let it happen. No way, no how, man. No way, no how, dude. Did it, did it, did it. All right, let's do one new one last news story, and then the wife comes home. Okay. And, um... You know what happens when the wife comes home? The uh, mouse comes out to play, if you know what I mean. Right, I got you. The mouse All comes right, let's see here. Home. We got a uh, Western Journal breaking here. A breaking uh, news here, right here on yeah. games you love. Yeah, let's see here. I was thinking about renaming the channel the Back to the Christians, Muslims, Pagan, and Jews channel, but okay. <laughs> bring well, whatever, you it want. Back. whatever you want to do, whatever you want to do, no matter to me. Whatever you want to do, it don't matter to me. All right. Anyway. Okay. Report. Foreign official warns Russia is planning public executions. Oof. I hope, some, I hope, I hope Putin takes out some of these fucking nasty online trolls with them. I hope he takes out the New World Order. That would be nice. European intelligence official believes the Russians have shocking plans for the aftermath of the country's invasion of Ukraine. Uh, Bloomberg's UK political editor cited an anonymous European official on Thursday who believes the Russian occupiers plan to conduct public executions in Ukraine after the cities are captured. What the fuck? What the fuck? The only the only executions they might they might hold would be uh, would be um, Zelensky for uh, aiding and abetting uh, Bill Gates and Anthony Fauci. He might execute his happy ass. But as far as, uh, you know, normal citizenry or the military, no, fuck no. The only thing they're after is stopping the New World Order. That's all they're after, as far as I know right now. Anyways, European intelligence official believes the Russians have shocking plans for the aftermath of the country's invasion of the Ukraine. Bloomberg's UK political editor cited an anonymous European official on Thursday who believes that the Russian occupiers plan to conduct public executions in Ukraine after the cities are captured. Um, Kitty Donaldson, 
Wow. She used to work for somebody. Who the fuck she used to work for? What do you want? You went outside? You went outside? You went outside? Yes, I went outside. You went outside? Yes, no, maybe. No? You went outside? You're outside, though. Yeah. I'm not coming to bed yet. Quit it. Not coming to bed yet. I will here momentarily, maybe, but not right now. All right. Anyway, Kenny Dawson, she used to work for somebody. Was it ABC, NBC, CBS, CNN? Yeah, one of those cocksuckers. It's yeah. one of them. Anyway, uh, Kenny Donaldson also says that the Russian Federation Security or Federal Security Bureau is planning tactics to crush demonstrations against Russian occupation, including the jailing of uh, protest leaders. Um, the Russian government has repeatedly indicated that it intends to denazify and demilitarize the Ukraine. Oh, for fuck's sake, now what? Uh -oh. Hold on, let me see here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I hope it's LF saying that he's uh, surrendering. Wrong number. <laughs> okay. Oh, I was going to say, I hope it's LF saying he's going to surrender. No, it's just a hot <laughs> shit. Yeah, no, it's just a fucking wrong number. I don't know who the hell that was. Some drunk, apparently. All right, anyway, um, public executions have, pre have been present in warfare with Nazi Germany utilizing similar tactics to terrorize partisans resisting occupation. Only terrorists and criminals such as ISIS have utilized them in recent memory. Uh, such barbarism would likely draw even further condemnations from the nations of the world, damaging uh, Russia's reputation even further. Russia has already uh, rendered itself an international pariah as a result of its invasion of Ukraine. Uh, So-called intelligence officials have often prone to make dramatic claims that later proved to be false, raising questions about the veracity of the claims Bloomberg is reporting. An FBI agent fired from the Agency for Political Partisanship repeated the European intelligence officials' claims. Oh, well, okay. Propaganda is abounded from both sides amid the fog of war with wildly varying estimates of casualties and differing claims about the outcome of military engagement circulating. Uh, Ukraine's ambassador to the United Nations has slammed the Russian invaders as war criminals. Ambassador Sergei uh, Kaslitsia has said that Russian uh, war criminals will go straight to hell, pointing to civilian casualties Russia's invasion has caused or created. All right. So, yes, well, there you go. Yep, there you go. There you go, Maynard. This is my uh, final statement of the night. We're going to, well, I guess we round it out for uh, eight o'clock. We call it a night. Yeah, if that's what you want. Whatever you want, dude. Um, Whatever you want to do. I'm, I'm okay. Whatever you want to do. Yeah, we'll go on for a little bit. My, yeah, my message that I want to say before we go is uh, capitulate. Everyone out here, all the trolls, haters, and naysayers, Trolls, haters, and fools, especially you, LF, just capitulate. Surrender. They're not, just get, they're not going just, to. Vaughn. They're not going to. Vaughn, we will have mercy with you. We will, we will be merciful. Oh, yeah. I'm more than happy. I'll be merciful. Me. Look, yeah, I'm on a big bad happen, wolf, like everyone says. I'll forgive you. I, if you lay down, we'll call bygones be bygones. It's your last chance. They ain't going to do it. All ain't right. do it. The gods, the gods have already told me their hearts are hardened. Their hearts are hardened against them. They none of them go. None of these fucks in the outside chat. The frost. None of the CPS workers that are involved. None. None. Of, nobody is going to change their minds. Nobody. And the gods said they're going to deal with them. 
somehow, some way, they're going to deal with them. Every one of them. Well, I, I hope that, you know, whatever the gods do, it's merciful because I feel bad. Well, uh, you know, they had how many chances, though, to repent and turn the other way? And they didn't do it? You know, I like, I, just, said, like yeah. I said, John, let me make this abundantly clear, okay? I never put a gun to anyone's head. I never put a gun to the head of the trolls. I never put a gun to the head of the frost. And I never put a gun to the head of any of these uh, Clay County workers. I never put a gun to anyone's head. They did what they did of their own free will mm -hmm. and volition. And so now they must pay the price for it, whatever that price may be. That's order to the gods. I have nothing to do with it. Don't want nothing to do with it. Ain't going to have nothing to do with it. I have absolutely nothing to do with any of that shit. And it's up to the gods. The gods are handling it. And if everybody on the damn planet dropped dead tomorrow, it still wouldn't be my fault because I had nothing to do with it. That's all of the gods. The gods have all that shit. I'm not doing any of it. Mm. I'm handling other shit. Okay. There's, there's some things that I'm handling elsewhere in the nation. I'm not even handling stuff here in Kentucky right now. I'm handling stuff way out fucking west. Okay. I'm not even handling stuff here in Kentucky. That's the God. The gods are handling this. You know, and that, that's what I said. You know, if somebody if somebody drops dead or if somebody gets sick or somebody loses all their money uh, playing craps or what, you know, they get arrested for cockfighting or, or dog fighting. I got nothing to do with it. I got nothing to do with that, any of that shit. I'm out west taking care of other situations that are befalling the nation. I'm not even in Kentucky doing Kentucky stuff. I'm doing stuff elsewhere. I'm not at liberty to discuss some of it, but I'm I'm helping the country, and that's all that really matters. Well, you're I'm always helping the country. I know, I know you're always helping the country. Uh, um, yeah, always. Always. That's what I'm doing. You're you're a good man, Vaughn, and, and it's a shame that people can't understand that. They don't want to understand. I'm easy to understand. Todd, I, I appreciate that. My hope for both of you is that you lead long, prosperous, happy lives. Amen. I hope so, too. I am actually my life is very happy. I have a very happy, beautiful life. My happy my life is always happy and beautiful. So you have you kids know? and they find out where you live, then you ain't gonna have a happy life because they'll do you just. Oh, like you don't me. worry about all that. We actually, you know what? That would pray for us. We we might have a little uh, Kindle lock on the way. Oh, well, that's good. I hope you do. I hope we you have, have a house Kindle, full of kids. Yeah, Kindle lock. Uh, I do. I, I hope you have a house full of kids. I pray Amen. that you have Thank a house you. full of kids. Yes. And we're gonna leave. You know that's what? our I'm gonna, future. Yeah, kids of the future. That's right. The gods gave me three thousand dollars. Um, okay, if you say so. The gods gave you three thousand dollars. Holy shit! I better be checking my fucking account. <laughs> well, then you can. If you got three thousand yeah, dollars, if you got three thousand dollars, you can give it to me and help me out, right? Right? I mean, shit. Todd gave Miss Parker fun, fifty dollars yeah. super chats. John and Von Why? Would have a happy life if you donated the same to them. There you go, Toby. There he is. He's a, you know, showing Todd some love. Money meets uh, mouth. Ooh, Toby. Yep. Toby knows what, Toby, what's Toby, up. Toby, Toby, Toby. Toby knows what's up, man. He does. I'm very generous to creators when I enjoy their content. All right. Well. Oh, there you go, man. Well, there you go. Yeah. There you go. I found a safe. Uh-huh. I think we should start sending some of these trolls of go into Ukraine and let them fight the Russians. That's right. That's right. You know, they, they're, all <laughs> time nice saying, they're, they're all time saying how, how much better they are than me and shit. So let them go serve their country like I did. Oh, you yeah. Know, and digging, uh, fucking crawling through goddamn sewers and shit like I did. Let them, go, let them find out what it's really like, okay? Because it, it ain't all fucking peaches and cream, I tell you. Well, that's what they think. They, I mean, they live in a delusional world. They, they, they live in a delusional world. world. Yeah, they do. They live in a delusional world. You know, they do. They do indeed. Do 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 do. I do do. I do do. 
What's your final topic of the – what's your final statement, Vaughn, for the money? Uh, my the final money? statement, my final statement is that um, uh, will be to anyone that, that uh, blockades Russia, you'll be doing so at your detriment because Russia, like it or not, is part of the continent, and they are a necessary uh, part of that continent. They also happen to have tons and tons and tons of natural resources that other countries will need in the future and cutting them off now you will be doing so at your detriment that's just the way it is mm. it's just the way it is man that's a good that's actually a good final statement actually you know what yeah people don't know but you know see they fight they have this passion a lot of people are so brainwashed they're so stuck in their ways they think Mm -hmm. What they're doing is right because they're under a delusion. But a lot of people just <laughs> drop your delusion. Just drop the the fake reality that you live in and just come to know the truth. Vaughn is actually not the bad guy. Nope. Not Vaughn this time. is actually not the bad guy. And why did fucking Grampy Lobster fucking subscribe to my channel? I'm looking at my new subscribers. Why the fuck did Grampy Lobster subscribe to my fucking channel? That's what I want to fucking know. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look here. Let's go ahead and send them a present. You suspect that Grampy wants to chat with me? Yeah, solo marshal. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's a nice guy and all, but he's he turned out to be one of the side of the haters. Do you enjoy uh, John's content, uh, Todd? What do you What do you think, Todd? You like it? Uh, did you notice Lando Lakes got rid of the Indian but kept the land? I've noticed that. Yeah, that's so sick, isn't it? <laughs> there's isn't a sick? there's some sick irony. There's some sick irony there. They got rid of the Indian and kept the land. <laughs> yeah, they're funny. fucking white liberals. That's what it is. <laughs> like, fuck. so if you enjoy the streams on Judaism, I did a couple of more streams coming up uh, next week. Why don't you help support the channel then? Because he's not a Jew, that's why. John, your wife is going to leave you, and when she does, I want to see you cry your fat face here so I can revel in it. Oh, Pipey. Pipey McGraw, yeah. Yeah, Pipey, Pipey. You can't even get you can't even get a wife. Pipey, you can't even get laid. You couldn't even get laid in a morgue if the corpses were kneeled to the fucking tables. Okay. All right, Todd's everything. Todd, you're you're Jewish, you're Indian, you're black, you're this, you're that, you're oh, Irish. You Todd, you're everything. I think you, I think you're gonna need help there, Tom. Todd. <laughs> Todd, I try to like you, but you make you. Oh, what do you got here? What happened here? Further action is required. Okay. Someone sent me five dollars. Nana Force, one of the one of your yeah. haters, yeah. sent me money. Yeah, further action is required. It says. Oh, does it? Yeah. Um, please confirm you would like to receive this five dollar payment. Okay. Okay. All right. It will be available shortly. It says. Thanks for letting what. Thanks Let for allowing me to your, chat. Thanks okay. for thanks for letting me use your videos. I never authorized you to use my content. Yeah, we don't. Nice authorize. try. Nice try. Nice try. Nice try. I never nice authorized try. you to use my content. We don't Sorry. authorize you. We don't authorize you. Nobody authorized you to use my content. <laughs> nice try. The truth though. is, my mother is a practicing Jew. That's that's a sad. That's sad that you, you. So you're not Jewish. You don't keep the mitzvot, Todd. You're you're uh, an, uh, you're apocaris. Is that what you're saying? 
How about just apoplectic? <laughs> Well, why don't you just make a little noise over there? My goodness, that thing's loud. Holy crap. Dear, 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 Close all, Maynard. There we go. Uh, send a, uh, I, only, I only got 15 in the in the cash yet. Send me another, uh, send me 10 bucks on cash app, and I'll take the wife out for something, something nice, a nice place to eat. Yeah. Right, how's that? And I'll treat the wife out. There you go. There you go. There you go. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, five five bucks doesn't buy much these days. This is why you don't donate. Uh, that's a that's a shame. That's a shame. I refuse to use Cash App. Well, we have PayPal. Do you like PayPal? Oh, yeah, we got PayPal. What's wrong with Cash App? Is it anti-Semitic or something? <laughs> Why don't you use Cash App? You ref I ref refuse to use Cash App? There's nothing Why wrong not? with Cash App. There's nothing wrong with Cash App. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with Cash App. Not that I'm aware of. Not that I'm aware of. As far as I know, there's nothing wrong with it. I guess he's just saying that because I use it and because they treat me good. Yeah. They gotta hate they gotta hate companies that treat me good, you know. Yeah. User is I find it interesting that I had to approve uh, the money that she sent. That was interesting. You want this? <laughs> of course you do. There you go. How about the Maynard? <clears throat> You've been burned on Cash App. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, I am too, because I didn't know it was even possible. Hey, boys, I honestly do think you get more hate than wanted, especially fun. That is true. We get hate when we that don't deserve it. We don't deserve the hate. No, we do not. We do not. We do not deserve it. If we deserve, besides, if I deserve the hate that I'm getting, wouldn't I be in prison? Oh, wait. Yeah, I would. What does H U A stand for? What does H U A stand for? Hua. That's Hua. That's a military term. Oh, uh, Hua. Hua is a military term. Oh, I got you. Yeah. Yeah, that's a military term. Hua. And then there's something similar called Who Day. Who Day. Who Day think going to be Tim Bingles? Who Day. Who Day. Who do you think gonna be? Oh, there? my phone is not reading my fucking fingerprint. I always hate when that happens. Don't you hate it when that happens? Well, at least you can still put, type in the password, so you're good. Yeah, but I like the fingerprint thing. It's faster, yeah. I know it's faster. It's a lot faster. How much? Looks is like Todd sent me something on the. Todd sent me on PayPal. Okay. See what he sent me. What did he send me here? Five bucks, I bet. <laughs> Five bucks. Have your cipher, have yourself a nice dinner with your wife, John. Mm -hmm. he, he sent me he sent me twenty dollars. Oh well that ain't bad. Yeah, that's oh, not bad. Yeah, that, that was nice yep. of you, Todd. That was actually okay, I, okay. I, that was nice. Uh yeah, well that well I don't know, but that I will pay for her dinner. It wouldn't pay for my dinner, but I was going to say me. that's only going to pay for one person's dinner. I'm sitting there thinking, wait a minute, that's only going to pay for one dinner, not two. I can, can use, I can use, I, I have dinner. a Cash App card and a and a PayPal card. I can use both yeah, cards yeah. if I wanted to. Right, right. Yeah, I was going to say because yeah, twenty bucks that only pays for one person. They don't pay for both. <laughs> it pays for one. Right. Uh, yeah, it only pays for one. But uh, the wife will get a good dinner, I guess, huh? Mm -hmm. How much is gas in Kentucky nowadays? How much is gas in Kentucky? Gas, uh, gas in Kentucky is uh, around four bucks, something like that, three something. It's heading mm -hmm. to four. It's heading to four. I don't think it's quite made it to four yet. Um, so it's. Uh, Bum Bumanette says, "I'm not Vaughn's kind of pagan, but I do walk a heretic's path." 
Well, Vaughn's kind of pagan is unique in this world because I'm I'm literally forging a new path. So you oh, know, yeah. nobody nobody's going to be Vaughn's pagan because I'm I'm literally forging a new path. So you know. Vaughn, do you, John, do you promise that you will come on and cry for me when your wife leaves you stinky, your kids aren't coming back? I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. If my wife leaves me, I'll come over there. I'll bend your wife over, and she'll leave wife. you. And he then, you, no oh, well, you get yeah, right. I forgot you can't. He ain't get got a no wife. wife. He ain't got no girlfriend. He ain't got no kids. He ain't got no life. He's right. a fucking YouTube troll. That's all he is. And like I said, he's right now, as we speak, violating UK law. UK has oh, let, yeah, this is the third sock account today. This yeah, third that's the third sock. sock account for Pipey today. Yeah, he's on a roll today, man. Oh wow! He just he, yeah, he put like two or three more up there. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. He's he's this violating UK law. UK UK has a law against trolling. They do. Yeah. Look it up, folks. The UK has a law against trolling, and he's violating it every time. Every time he gets on, he's violating. It. Hmm. What you doing, dude? She's over there playing with that plastic cup, just having her time, buddy. Oh yeah, yeah. My gas is cheap. Well, my gas. Well, it's five bucks in California, and it's three something here in Kentucky. But don't worry, the five bucks is making its way east, so we'll eventually get to the five bucks. Don't worry. Yeah, eventually. Yeah, it's making it's making its way east. And I told you this was coming. I told you the five dollars was coming, and everybody laughed. Well, you ain't laughing now because here it is. It's already in California, and it's heading east. So it'll get here. It'll probably follow that damn trucker convoy. <laughs> It'll follow right behind the trucker convoy as it comes here. Uh, who's got bets on, on when Biden will put the hammer down on this trucker convoy and stop them dead in their tracks? Anybody got bets on where they'll, where they'll permanently be stopped at? Because they ain't getting to Washington, D.C. They'll be stopped long before they get to Washington, D.C. Anybody got any running bets on where they finally get stopped at? I heard Oklahoma, and then I heard, then I heard uh, I heard the border uh, of Indiana and Illinois, but I don't know. I don't honestly know. Oklahoma, Oklahoma. that's where my my co-host for my Jewish podcast is from. Oklahoma. Oh yeah, is that where Todd's from? Oklahoma, uh, uh, allegedly, or no? I thought he was from Colorado. Co Oklahoma, that Oklahoma. means maybe the red man's Oklahoma. land, right? Oh, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Yeah, maybe it is Oklahoma. I don't know. Yeah, the red man's maybe land, huh? Maybe. Yeah, red man's land, yeah. Mm -hmm. What is Vaughn's opinion on ritual magic? Uh, yeah, I'm not a left-hand pather, so <laughs> I'm probably the wrong person to ask about that. I am. Now, is ritual magic only something left-hand pather people do? Well, not necessarily, but I mean, you know, a lot of times when you think of ritualistic uh, stuff, you think of invoking uh, spirits or demons or... Um, lesser than nice entities, not always, but you know, a lot of times people, people think that, and that could be, you know, just a negative connotation given to paganism as well. But, um, I am, I am one of those people that, um, you know, like I said, I'm forging a totally new path. Uh, I basically did something very radical. Uh, when I, when I, uh, encountered a, a situation where I was visited by a being of light. Uh, obviously, it changed me. And so I said, okay, uh, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, since you guys were kind enough to visit me, I'm going to ask what you guys want. And then I'm going to do what you guys want. And so, um, so yeah, that's what I done. Uh, you know, they, I said, what do you all want? And uh, they, um, well, yeah, I mean, you know, you can do that, Bumet. Um, really, you shouldn't be uh, you shouldn't be putting out information like that to a bunch of idiots in the side chat because they're all hate. All these people in the side chat are haters, so you really shouldn't be putting that information out. Uh, when, are you gonna Are you gonna go out this time? You keep scratching at the door. Are you gonna go out this time? I'm not coming to bed yet. It's getting that late. Well, it ain't that late, but it is early. And so I'm sure. You wanna go out that time? So that's interesting, Todd. Isn't that kind of racist that there's a land for the red man? 
Isn't that Vaughn? Isn't that kind of racist that that? that Oklahoma means land of the red man? Well, That's I mean, they said what, what they uh, they they uh, chided me because I used the word Indian giver and said it was a racist term. So if Indian giver is a racist term, then the term Oklahoma definitely would be racist, right? Right. We got to have to change. Yeah, the state. it'd have I mean, to be. Yeah. It would why have can't to be. we have a state called the land of the white man? Why can't we have? Well, uh, why can't why can't we have a white day? Like the blacks have Black Day. Why can't we have a white a day? Black History Month. White yeah, History Black Month. History Month. United you know. Negro College Fund. Uh, you know, there's Not all kinds of stuff time. out there, man. There's all kinds of stuff out there for black folk. Ain't shit for white folk. Why can't we have white white stuff, man? Why, God, why I think it's time to I think it's time to be liberal and trying to and rename the state, yeah. man. I think it's yeah. Time. Let's let's. Uh, they let's, took the let's, Indian let's, off the la land the lake package. They, I think it's time <laughs> to take the Indian from the Minnesota from. Yeah, uh, exactly. From yeah, try, hey, you know all these football teams and basketball teams no longer use uh, Indians in their uh, in their uh, stuff, you know. So. What does Vaughn think about women preachers? I don't think he gives a shit. I don't give a shit. I'm not a Christian. <laughs> I don't give a shit anymore. Now, I will say that as a former evangelical, back uh, back when I was an evangelical, um, we didn't have a problem with it. But uh, we had to absolutely, and I mean absolutely, confirm that they were uh, truly inspired by the Holy Spirit and all that good shit. But, um, you know, as since I am no longer a Christian, I really don't give a damn. Uh, so... Yeah, sorry. <laughs> all right, that's that. I'm I'm done with that. You know that ship sailed a long, long time ago, and I'm not going ever back. Not ever. I will never ever go back. I am just fine the way I am. Thank you very much. And like I said, I'm blazing a new trail anyway, which is kind of cool. Blazing a new trail. Uh, I do believe that I have finally latched on to the real gods of creation, right. and they are helping me and encouraging me and. Um, I used know. to be practicing princess, but Priestess. left the circle because of an X. One jar is for him. Baruch Hashem. Yeah, well, there you go. Can we put a jar out there for SO and another one for LF? <laughs> Can we get a couple uh, of jars out there? Well, uh, you know, I, I'm, I will say this. I, I will say that. Can I get a know, couple of jars? I want to I want to learn how to do this. What, what does happen? You bury a jar in the backyard and people start, start going into it, dying, dropping dead? No, it's not quite that severe. Um, I, I really, like I said, that we, this is not a topic that really should be discussed openly. Uh, not, with oh, a, okay. not with a whole fucking live chat full of trolls. No. Um, okay. No, we can discuss it privately, perhaps, but not publicly. I would rather not discuss those things. Um, but I will say that, um, you know, like I said, I uh, everything is being handled by the gods. They told me to stay out of it. So I am. I'm staying out of it. I'm staying my butt out of it. I know it. you like think, I, said, I know I, you I, said that, Vaughn, about staying out of it, but you need to we really need to start thinking about getting involved. L S O is and, and L F is out of control. Yeah, well, all of it's out of control, but you know, I gotta believe that uh, the gods are in control and they're gonna handle it. You know, yeah, it'll be all right. I would discuss tick, tricks of the trade with a wise pagan, been out of touch. Well, I'm not really necessarily a pagan myself, I'm a you know, a model. Yeah. Via, so. Well, my email is von Hilden at hotmail.com. You can contact me anytime you want, and I'll be happy to talk to you. Oh, there you go. I'll talk to you, I don't care. After Uncircumcised Muslim. Hello, guys. <laughs> I have a hell? question for Mr. Von Helton. Would Von convert to Islam for a week for five hundred thousand dollars? Whatever 000. happened to Candy Rain? She was a nice lady. She turned out to be a hater. She, she was a hater, a dude. Troll. Yeah, she was a hater. Yeah, she, she was a, being she a, was a nasty troll. Yeah, man, bad one. Yeah, real nasty. After man. after after ten years. After 10 years, let that sink in for a minute. After 10 years, Candy Rain comes to me, comes on my show and says, oh, I was never your friend. I was just trolling you. Okay. So, yeah, that's bullshit. And Celeste Kitty did the same thing. Celeste Kitty did the same thing. And, you know, I was actually going to scoop up the kids and we were all going to go to the park with Celeste Kitty and her children and have a good time together. And it ended up all being total bullshit. 
Oh, she does. She does OnlyFans. What's the link to our OnlyFans? Candy is doing OnlyFans now. Oh wow! You know what OnlyFans is, right, John? Mm, uh, like some sort of like porn thing or something. It's adult. Yeah, it's adult uh, stuff. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow. That's sad. That is sad. That's you know. That's, she needs money yeah. that bad. I thought she was in the crystals or something. Uh, candles actually. She was doing candles there for a while. She told me you were hitting on, dude. I haven't talked to. Fuck me. I haven't seen Candy in like 10, 20 years, dude. Yeah. Fuck yeah, man. I ain't. I. I it's it's been a while. It's Candy while. Rain or Celeste Kitty, neither one. I. They, they were big time trolls, man. They they mm. both said to my face, said, yeah, we were never your friend. We were just trolling you. I'm like, holy shit, man. But yeah, man, I ain't yeah, talked to them trash. in years. So yeah, no, that's a lot. Trash bags. Yeah, if they said if they said I was hitting on either one of them currently or recently, that's that's bullshit. Um and besides, I can't hit on Celeste Kitty anyway. She was fucking married. Uh, well, no, both of them was married. That's right. So no, I wouldn't hit. Yeah, on either Candy one of them. Rain is is. Uh, married yeah, they were both married. Yeah, they were both married. So no, I wouldn't hit on either one of them. So no, that's a lie. Yeah, that's a lie. Uh, but uh, but I will say this. Uh, you know, I was very upset. You know that uh, they weren't my real friends. I was upset about that. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, man, they lied. Yeah, they they fucking lied. I wasn't hitting on either one of them, married or not. I still wasn't hitting on either one of them. Isn't Candy Ray married? So how is she uh, doing porno? Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe she's got the approval of her husband. I don't fucking know. I mean, if it's bringing in big money, I guess you know he don't care. Well, don't yeah, I, I shouldn't. Have, yeah, well, I know other people that do that and they're married. And yeah, that uh, that only fans thing is um, I, now. I it's don't corrupting know about people. It. I know absolutely nothing about it, but I mean, you know, it's it's apparently very popular. I don't know anything about it though. Don't want to know anything. Oh, about oh it. good for them. Then it couldn't have happened to better people. Yeah, Most well, there you go. Them. Yeah. What comes around goes yeah. around, I guess. Mm-hmm. That's good. Right. It couldn't have happened to better people. No, back in the day in 2015, she told me you were hitting on her and she broke off the friendship. Uh, no, that's that's total bullshit. Candy Rain was married. I do not go after married women. Absolutely not. No, I never have and I never will. So no, uh, that's bullshit. That's total bullshit. Yeah, I never, I, I don't go after married women. Yeah, I don't do that. Would you? She wasn't really that good looking anyway. No, not really. I guess I don't. Yeah, know. she wasn't really that good looking anyway. She has average looks. Uh, she wasn't ugly. Yeah, she my was wife is much better. Looking. My 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 wife is like, whew. Uh, would any of you let your girlfriend? Let your uh, well, no. in my opinion, my wife do uh, actually. No, no I, I wouldn't. No. Talk no way. No, no way, man. I'm shocked at Candy doing what she did. Why? Why are you shocked? She's a fucking YouTube troll. Why would you be shocked? Yeah. I thought Shandy's OnlyFans was the inside of a car wash. <laughs> <laughs> Vaughn, would you do OnlyFans? I would subscribe to your OnlyFans 100%. Yeah, no. That might be a way to get around the, the, the YouTube band. Uh, the YouTube band. Why don't you just upload videos of you doing political videos to OnlyFans and have people subscribe to it? <laughs> OnlyFans isn't about that. OnlyFans is wanting to see skin, I think. Uh, if I understand well, I mean, you can get around. Can you upload whatever the fuck you want? I don't know. I don't know nothing about OnlyFans. All I've heard about OnlyFans is that it's, you know, softcore porn. That's all I've ever heard. I, I haven't heard anything else about OnlyFans. I don't know. Yeah. If, I don't know what it's about at all. Don't don't want to know, to be honest. I don't, don't want to know, know either. Yeah. yeah. The less I'm around that shit, the better. I don't want to know nothing about it. And that way I can't come back. If you don't fuck up to begin with, it ain't going to come back on you. Hello. You know, it ain't going to come back on you, man. So I just, you know, but yeah, I'm not, uh, I, I'm, no, I'm not interested in that. Not interested in that shit. Definitely not. 
Yeah, totally not. Totally not into that. Yeah, someone says, I'm shocked at Candy doing what she did. I'm not. She's a YouTube troll. Why would you be shocked? She's a YouTube troll. Why would you be shocked that she would do anything? Uh, that shouldn't be shocking at all. Yeah, but yeah, I have never, I have never, knock on wood, I have never, ever went after a married woman because I don't think it's proper. And as somebody that believes in karma, if I go after somebody's woman, guess what might happen to my woman? Yeah, so no, uh -uh, no, no way. I know what karma is, and I know that karma is real, and I sure as fuck don't want it coming back on me. So no, I would never, ever date a married woman, ever. Never, ever. Good for you, Vaughn. I wouldn't do only friends. I believe my spiritual energy would get depleted if anyone sees me like that. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Uh, that's you know that's something else to consider too, because you'll be putting your energy into that thing. <clears throat> so you got to be careful with that. You know. So yeah, I agree. I agree. I don't think it would be a good idea. Yeah. Mm. Uh, uh, somebody says you can upload anything. Well, I don't. I don't know, and I don't want to know, and I'm not gonna know, because I'm not going anywhere near that shit. If I, I might do I, it, I might start uploading some videos just there in a couple. Of well, here's small. the thing: you go anywhere near only fans, and you're gonna have about a thousand fucking troll accounts claiming you're you're a fucking sexual deviant, and you're you're raping little kids, and you're screwing your mom, and all this. You know, no, fuck no, I'm staying the fuck away from any of that. Oh, yeah, you, maybe you're right on that one. Yes, fuck yes, I'm right about it. Just stay the fuck away. You'll be better off, trust me. And that way, you ain't gotta worry about none of that shit. Uh, only Hakados Baroque. I believe, yeah, I don't believe in karma either. Only Hakados Baroque is in charge. Only God is in control. Well, who do you think's running the karma, though? Yeah, but God does, and not not like um, not like. Well, some, yeah, like, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not advocating the atheist version of karma. No, uh, obviously okay. the gods are in control. But, uh, but karma is still a thing. You know, you do something, it comes back on you. That's just the way it is. But I, but I do find it fascinating that even atheists believe in karma, at least many of them. Now, of course, Todd's going to say he isn't, just to be a horse's ass. But, you know, yeah, I've, he, talked, to many, yeah, I've talked to a bunch of atheists, and they do believe in karma. So, Because what goes around comes around. Everybody knows this, okay? It's not, yeah. that's not something anybody's made up. That, you know, what goes around comes around. And that being said, what's coming around, going around? We almost at the three hour mark, Vaughn. Mm -hmm. Two hours and fifty two minutes. Damn, we've been going on for fucking three hours. Yeah, just about it. Yep, mm -hmm. yep, that's right. Um, it was a good show. It wasn't too bad. No, it wasn't too bad. We had fun here at Games You Love. Check out yeah. my gaming channel, Games You Love. Yeah. So let's see. Now Schreiten Freud. Now that's real. Yeah, people, there are people out there that love to see other people in misery. That's Schreiten Freud. Yeah. Yeah. Sick, demented fucks. Only only Germans can come up with a word like Schreiten Freud. <laughs> only a German could come up with that. No, Lo and then loving, Getting jolly, getting your jollies off, watching someone else's misery. Yep, that's something that German. Well, now the, the Greeks, the Greeks have a very exact language. I mean, there's like five different versions of love, and um, you know stuff like that. Yeah. So I mean, you know, it's um, typing on the phone. Yeah. You know what, you have the I'm at, I'm at, it, if you stick by me and Vaughn, we won't treat you wrong. Stay yep. by if us. If you hang with us, Bumanette, you'll be fine. Get your webcam, come up on dock with us, and, we'll and hang out with right. us, and you'll be fine. Guaranteed. Yeah. But, of course, we're going to need proof that you are who you are and not just another fucking YouTube troll under some fake-ass name, right? 
Yeah. But once we confirm your identity, then yeah, you'll be fine with us, man. We ain't gonna fuck you over. We don't believe in that shit. Uh, slap my uh, l- uh let me um, uh, let me give you my email and you can slap my email up there so it, anybody that wants to email me, they can. Uh, Ron Hilton at there it is all right put that sucker up there and uh, let them let them utilize it if they so desire i don't want to hold her down don't want to break her ground when she says let's go that's an old song Don. yeah that's like a song from like fucking se- early 70s holy shit correct that's correct that's from the, what was the name of that song 80s. cars or early something? 80s that's the cars right that's the band the cars right cars yeah Ooh, i like the nightlife baby yeah i like yeah, the nightlife yeah that's a good song too i like the nightlife mm-hmm. yep that's the cars man they call Bum-a-net. you bumanette Bumanet, uh, bum, bumanet, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. It's French. Uh, it's French. I, oh wow! Well. I've been learning a little French. Uh, I have to. You know, it's really weird. Where the fuck is? A, I've been. I've been speaking French, and I and I had somebody somebody emailed me. They said, "Bon, you realize yeah. you're, you've been speaking fluent French lately?" I said, "I have." So I said, "Yeah, you've been speaking fluent French." And so I went back and I actually played one of the one of the live shows. And sure as fucking enough, man, you have a, there was some French. I used some French words that I didn't even know, and and for some reason I blurted them out, and then just so it's like, well, whatever, you know. Yeah, I'm starting my French. Oh, you're learning French on the on the yeah. Okay, no, yeah, no, I'm, getting I mean, there. I'm actually blurting out. No, I'm actually blurting out French in my live oh. shows. I'm actually blurting out French in my live shows, and it's like, where the fuck is all that coming from? But oh well, hey. Tu travailles à Paris. Travail. 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 Trebian, Trebian. I think it's what you're trying to say. Student, étudiant. Ici. Is that Trebian? Trebian. I think is what you was trying to say earlier. Oui, je travaille à Paris. See, he even agreed with me. <laughs> yes, I work in Paris. Ici. Merci beaucoup, mon ami. Bonsoir. Julia est étudiante. I don't know what that says. I'm not sure on that one either. That that last word kind of threw me. Tu travailles à Berlin? It goes so fast that I can't understand. Yeah, he's, he's spitting it out pretty quick, yeah. You might want to put that on on about 0.5 or some shit. <laughs> so he kind of kind of. Yeah, I, 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 I I've heard Padu. I've heard Bad, Badu. I'm trying to think of what the fuck it means. But it's the name Badu. of a part of France, Badu. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeehaw. Me appelle Bamet. Mm, okay. My name is uh, Bamet. Can we have some French now? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. How you like your eggs? Over easy? <laughs> uh, fluency doesn't seem to mean much. Well, everybody's online and everybody's doing one-liners. So, you know, fluidity of the language kind of goes away when, you, when you're when uh, uh, you doing one-liners and shit. I, Jesus, Jesus, I, I think hey, that hey, means so, I am. Jesus. Hey, so, here, I don't know what that. I don't know. I. Jesus, 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 Jesus,
She, I am, words, I am a, heretic. a heretic. She's a heretic. Yeah, she's a heretic. Yeah, a heretic. Oh, yeah, okay. she's a heretic. Yeah, I'm also learning a little German too, and the German's a little easier. Well, the German's real easy. The German should be real. Yeah, because easy. well, I speak uh, Yiddish and English. Yeah, so the Yiddish, Yiddish and German are not very far removed. Right? Auf Wiedersehen. Hey, what about this one, Vaughn? Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Goodbye. That means goodbye. Oh, Solar's live. Talking about Bob Lazar. What happened? Solar is doing a live show talking about Bob Lazar in Area 51. Oh, what, what channel? I don't know. Let me see. Guten Morgen, Mutter. Guten Morgen, Mother. Post. Post. What's post? Post. Post? You mean prost? Prost means cheers. Prost. Bis bald. Bis bald. Bis bald. Bis bald. This magic woman. <laughs> this magic moment. Um, du, T, Mutter, Prost, auf Wiedersehen. Mutter, that's mother. Open it does too a bit. Open the door, please. Guten Morgen. Yeah, good morgen. Wie geht's? Es geht mir gut, danke. Danke. <clears throat> danke, danke, danke. Yes, absolutely. Guten danke, Morgen, danke, danke. Anna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I easy. Said, Danke. Okay. It is easy. German is easy. You know, you'd be amazed how many English words are German. Danke. <laughs> American English, I mean. There's a shit ton of American Schön. English words that und. are actually German. It's auf great. Wiedersehen. Awesome. Danke schon und auf Wiedersehen, or whatever you say. See auf, you soon. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf, auf Wiedersehen. Bis bald. Bad. There you go. Passed. Yep, yep. That was yep. a hell of an easy little lesson there. Oh god. All right, yeah. I gotta get going. We are at this three hour mark, and I think We're I want to go see what I want to go see what Solar is. Solar is another one that used to be a friend and now he doesn't want to talk to us. Yeah, he's used to be our friend. Now he's uh, hanging out with trolls and doing all kinds of crazy shit. So yeah. Oh well. All right. All good right, Vaughn. Uh, be well and, and only good things, man. Take it easy. Only good things. That's right. Only all good right, things. Only good things. Bye, man.